and we're live. Hey, yo, welcome to the wonderful world of hungry. I am not a classically trained chef. What I am is a self-taught home cook. I have studied under several television chefs. I have a PhD from YouTube University and a black belt in Google food. I love to cook. The only thing I love more than cooking is my wife, the sensational Shelly Eats State. Together, we host what you're watching right now, Friday Night Feast. So this happens every Friday night, 6.30 Central. We'll be up an entree, maybe a couple of snacks, show you all how we do it, and we spend the rest of the evening just chewing the fat with all of our friends in the Hungry Horde. We're so happy you are able to tune in tonight. We yes. have a delicious dish set up to make for y'all tonight. Yeah, I am so... Doctor, we'll see you now. Oh, goodness. I am so, so excited about this, you guys. So, we are making Thai basil beef in a coconut lime rice. Basically, it's cauliflower rice. And what we're going to basically need, so I did put the, I remember this time, put the recipe pretty much in the uh, show notes. Um, of course, we're going to add a couple extra things because, you know, we're extra. Uh, we had some jalapenos that were about to go bad, so we are going to add uh, one jalapeno to this. And um, let me turn the mute sound. off. A sound. There we go. Just the mute on. Yeah, right. The mute on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so what we got here for our coconut rice, which is what we're going to start on first. And I'm gonna, just going to move this to the hot skillet. You said a shallot. How do you want it to cook again? I just want that sliced. Okay. I'm going to start working slices. on that while you're doing all the other. So what we're going to need for the coconut rice, you guys, is, of course, some coconut cream, your cauliflower rice, um, some lime juice, and then I'm going to also use just an equal, um, yeah, that's fine, equal blend of salt, pepper, garlic. And we'll get that started because basically I'm going to let that just kind of sit and absorb all of the wonderful, delicious coconut cream, right? And then for our Thai basil, we're going to use ground beef tonight. And then we have a shallot that Heath is slicing right now. And then we also, because we like it hot, we're going to add a habanero and some serranos. And of course, one jalapeno and a red bell pepper and the star of the show, basil. We were able to get Thai basil. So I'm excited about that. Here, I have to smell it. This is my, I love to smell basil. How about y'all? Um, oh, smells so good, you guys. I love that. Um, oh. And then for the sauces, or the sauce in with it, you're going to need some rice wine vinegar. I'm going to use coconut or liquid aminos, or you can use coconut aminos. A little bit of fish sauce, some ginger, garlic, brown sugar swerve, and I think that's about everything. That's all we're using tonight. That's all we got. Right. Um, and you didn't get the, the head in there, right? You pulled it out? Sure. Oh, no. Right there. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want that. That's my part, then. Ooh. So we're going to get started first on the rice. But let's say hello to a couple people. Y'all were here people. early. I know for some reason it sent out an, um, a reminder like an hour early. <laughs> so sorry about I'm that. Psyched. All right. Um, let's go. Let's see. We got Sana. She Howdy. said... Woo, woo, Friday night feast, ready for the shenanigans and after hours? Speaking of after hours, remind me here a little later. I have an update about that. A little uh, <laughs> a thing. What a little poll. A poll. I We're going to. poll right here. Uh, it's a little too early, which brings you up. You said I have a little poll? <laughs> and that brings up 22 Q Cat. She said, Hey, Sana, imagine meeting you here. Don't forget that the after hour shows have been starting way before after hours. That was also like a five at work. minutes into the show. That was a discussion at work as well. Finishing up dinner. So I'm not late for the start. Awesome. And I also want to give a shout out. Someone, someone, someone here sent me some lipstick or lip stain. That's what I'm wearing tonight. I'm modeling it for y'all. 
Thank you. Whoever sent it to me, it didn't give me any message or like a little thank you reply. So whoever did, thank you so, so much. That was so thoughtful of you. It just made my day where I was like, what is this? Nice little surprise. I know. L Strange is here. It says, make it some bacon jam. Oh, that's oh, so that good. good. And then some soup. Ooh, what soup? It's been so rainy and cold here, and I'm loving it. I hope y'all got some of this cold weather too. We'll try popping later. We sure have been. Like we didn't have to turn on the AC yesterday or today. today. Like that. That just makes my little heart sing when I don't have to turn the AC or the heater on, right? Uh, but it's definitely been rainy and drizzly, and yeah, that's. I guess that isn't always the fun part, right? All the rain and drizzle everywhere, but we'll we'll. We'll survive, right? And it feels so weird. I was like, it's April 7th and it's still cool out? Like, that's just so odd to me. But I ain't going to complain. I am not going to complain. Just Jason Keto. Hey, hey Jason. Said, good evening, everyone. And I see Carrie is here. He said, some beat me here. I'm jamming to the trailer, getting carried away. Nice. Must have told too many jokes to get carried away. <laughs> Rykwin's here. Hi. Says hi, folks. Had to take the puppies for a quick walk. Oh man, it's cold out there. Had to find a sweatshirt to put on. It it was like winter was like bye. Oh, psych, I'm back. Or maybe it was a southern goodbye. <laughs> um, let's see here. Carrie said, "Just give me the beef without the rice, right?" Ouch. Um. Let's see. Everybody talking back and forth. And then I see 22Q Cat said, hello, Shelly Heath and the whole crazy and wonderful Friday Night Horde. Let's get this party started. That's where I'm at. Let me know. What do y'all have planned for this weekend? Oh, we got lots going on this weekend. Oh? Well, we got to take your car to the shop. Oh, well, not to the, the shop. shop. We're just going to go. I have to yeah, get the uh, inspection. The inspection, which was due in March. So I have to get that done. Um, we have that one oh. um, uh, research we have to do. Oh, gosh. Yeah. What's been a month in the making? I don't think it's quite been a month. Okay. So get started. If my husband will open up the rice. Ooh. I'm just going to add a couple tablespoons of the cream. Oh, we probably need a spatula. Oh, yeah, yeah, All right. Here. Just, yeah. You add this, and I'll go get the spatula. And then I'm going to try to pour about a half cup of the liquid. Okay, there we go. We'll see how this looks. I'll just do this around here. And let me go through, where's the lemon juice? Oh. Okay, my handy dandy lime juice, I'm sorry, lime. This is coconut lime. Oh, citrus juice. Just gonna do like a tablespoon of that. Clang, clang, clang. Yes. So. I stir that up. And. I got the spoon rest right here. Yeah. Um. Oh, a napkin, please. And then this, just our salt, pepper, garlic. I'll sprinkle that in here. And try to clean up as I go, right? I see Mary is here. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Mary said, yep, if the beef is seasoned well enough and falling apart, it won't need the rice. I mean, that's very true. And truth Gigi's, be told, uh -huh. we've already made this recipe once before and already released the video. Yeah. And then the uh, picture for tonight was actually from that video. Yes. So we, we do have a, a recipe, but... I think it was when we were mainly carnivore. Yeah. So this one will have more veggies in it. Okay. I just want to make sure uh -huh. there's plenty in here. The lid. Well, I'm just going to put the lid back oh, on. Okay. And then. Shh. Let's do that off camera. Oh. Whoops. Y'all didn't see that. I know I got a lot going on. And 
Ooh. All right, let me stir that. Now that's bubbling. And, or here, you want to pour all of that in here for me? Yeah. And I'll keep, keep stirring it. I'm going to do a little bit of time. I don't want to splash. Yeah, well, hold it up a little bit higher, though, for me. There you go. And then kind of make sure, pull it up a little higher, a little higher, and make sure you get all of it out. And then that's why I didn't go up high, because now I just got all over the counter. Well, that's because you flaked it everywhere. Yeah, but that's why I didn't pick it up high. There's a method to the madness. There's not. Regardless of whether you understand it or not, there is. <laughs> yeah, but when you get it so low, you get it into the sauce. I'm fine with that. I'm not. All right, let's just stir this about, and I'm just going to take a look to see how this is coming together. So I wasn't sure how much, like, rice was in the whole package, other than, you know, it says, but let's see. A lot of times it can be deceiving. Mm -hmm. So while she's playing with that, I'm going to start dicing up this uh, habanero. I think what I'm going to do, y'all. Oops. Make a mess. I put the thing over here. Well, I can't reach over there. It's me. We set it down right here. Okay. And then in two seconds, he it back to me. No problem. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to do a little more lime. I got another full tablespoon. I'll put that there and the salt, pepper, garlic. So let's get that in there. Ooh, it's smelling good. Gigi's here. Hey, Gigi. She said, good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Uh, Carrie said the cheese factory blew up and debris was everywhere. Uh -huh, uh -huh, that's awesome. <laughs> and then I see Shauna's here. Howdy. Hey, Shauna. She goes, okay, okay. I made it. Sheesh, I've been cooking since about 1.30. Wow, what are you making? And how many people are you feeding? <laughs> right? Okay. That's a hell of a meal prep. <laughs> I feel like... I want to add a little more of this coconut, the way that's kind of in here. Oops. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm still a, little, a few little bites here. And then I'll put that, put my stuff that has to, and then can I have the, sure. thank you, dear. All right. Now I want to stir this up and all those seasonings and the lime juice everywhere. And it's going to be kind of runny and thick right now. That's because I'm basically going to let this simmer for about 20, min 20 to 30 minutes. Like on these cold rice, like when I've done my Mexican cauli rice, I find it it does better if you just kind of let it simmer in a broth or the juices for a bit. All right. Okay. So when I see that start to come up to a boil again, then we're going to switch out. Let's say hello to a few more people. Hello to a few more people. 22Q Cat said, I'm excited for the dish tonight. So oh, yeah, am too. I. Like, I've just been, I've been really craving Thai food. So I'm super excited for this. And did you even uh, order delivery a couple of times this week? No, it, that was last week. And it was one time for some Thai soup. But I was like, oh, we can make a really good Thai dish and the rice and everything. Because I know a lot of times Thai will have sticky rice. So it's kind of what I'm going for is that like sticky rice texture. Uh -huh. All right. And Patty Duran is here. Howdy, howdy. Hey, Patty. Welcome back. And let's see. Mary said, laugh out loud. You guys and your hot stuff. You know that. And of course, all of our recipes, 
you don't have to add it. So like tonight's recipe, you could just do the jalapeno or if you don't want any spice in it, then just do the red bell pepper. You don't have to add all of these things um, like we are. So you could always adjust that and it's perfectly fine. It'll still be delicious. So I feel like the main thing with this is the, um, the, uh, the sauce. And of course, all the basil. Mm. So I'm super excited about that. Sharon's here. She said, evening all. Hey, Sharon, welcome back. How are you? Carrie said, 434 days of no coffee or caffeine. I have not gone one day without any coffee. I don't think. Or caffeine? Come on now. Uh, Shauna man. said, I have a flavor question. I watch a lot of cookie shows and lately hearing umami as a flavor component. Yeah, so umami is considered, sure, which mommy. if if Radical Geek's here, she, she'll probably explain it better than me. But basically, umami is like this um, other, like you hear like fat, salt, acid, uh, sour, and umami is another one. It's kind of like a combination. It's kind of to me like a mushroom earthy flavor that you can add to stuff. And so it's just supposed to be like another depth of flavor to dishes. Linda's here. Hey, Linda. She goes, hello, everyone. Welcome back. And look, it's Caboodle Brian. Oh, we haven't on, seen brother. you in a while. What's up, Said, Ranger? Great evening, y'all. You know it's going to be a fantastic evening when the cast iron skillet is front and center. Right? That's right. It's always exciting to use the cast iron. How are you and Karen? Um, Patty said, I hope we are done with cold weather for the year. Oh, you don't like the cold weather? Well, guess what, Patty? And less than 60 days on the cruise it'll be plenty plenty hot yeah i've been telling folks you if you're not uh let me have the the yeah where i'm gonna uh it's cold here chilly and i um wanting to save this come august when it's gonna be stupid hot i know or on the cruise because we're gonna be out in the caribbean yeah it'll be hot Ugh. But I'm not, I'm not like a summer person. Let not me know all. who is a summer person and who's like a fall, winter, or, or, or a spring. What's your, what's your favorite season? I mean, I feel like we don't really get all seasons. Like I've heard like up north, they get a nice fall and people love the fall weather. Uh -huh. But um, here it's summer, summer, winter. Oh, the perfect. So what he's doing is... On the bell pepper, he's going to thinly slice it or julienne them. And that's just going to add some bright color to this dish. Um, Mary said, is Thai different from Italian? That's a good question. Yes. So Thai is uh, from Thailand. So that's out in um, Asia. And so they have, um, I'm trying to think, what would you consider like the flavors like they do a lot of they usually have a little bit of sweetness to anything and then i would say um very salty acidic food yeah and then of course they like the spice so there's that they call like thai spice so um now you can if you have ever gone to a thai restaurant you can actually order things they'll um have it a scale of like one to five on the spice level. And I usually tell them I want, and usually five is considered the Thai hot. And I'm like, look, no, I really want Thai hot, not white person Thai hot. Like give me the actual Thai person hot. So they do tend to really like spicy food or at least the ability to make things spicy. And they do use um, like... Traditionally, this dish would use what's called uh, bird's eye chilies. Um, and then there's a uh, different spice. Um, oh, I'm going to butcher this name, but it's like finagrin or something. I know I, I'm not pronouncing it right. But you would need to go probably to an Asian market to find that spice and to find those chilies um, in order to 
like really, really make something more authentic. We very, uh, we usually do a Caucasian version. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 22 Q Cat said, Hope you all caught Shelly and Heath on just Jason Keto. Thanks, well, thank you, Lynn, for that. Yeah, that was so much fun. And that was last Saturday he released that Keto in the Mist. Hey, hey. welcome back. Said, Hey, y'all, listening in while cleaning up the kitchen and doing laundry. Good, I'm about oh. ready to do mine. Come over and help. Always the fun part, right? right? You're like, Way oh. to be adulting. Shauna said, Loud, loud. My reminder just dinged. Oh, that's good. Gigi said, uh, Brian, good evening. Oh, that's nice. As Sada said, pull, laugh out loud. Sharon said, on my iPad, tagging is super hard. Sorry. Yes, yes it is. Uh, I, that is the one thing that I really feel like um, YouTube needs to fix. YouTube needs to fix because they, they make tagging so hard on an iPad or a cell phone of any type and it needs to have like a better feature for tagging especially nowadays that's when most people it seems like are using that device right. to watch and tune in to stuff uh-huh not just to us but the youtube in general yeah patty said yes air frying auntie umami is a fish sauce that gives a distinct flavor oh thanks that's a good yeah that probably makes more sense, sense than what i said mary said lipstick looks good with your skin tone oh thank you mary and thank you whoever gave it to her because it turned out perfect i know shauna said but no one is using any fish sauce they are using the term as a flavor palette or even what's this here sauce yeah because i actually am going to be using some fish sauce tonight uh sharon said that's very nice shade compliments your complexion nicely thank you sharon carrie said the little piggy can jam out with the bacon jam that's right Oh, 20 Tiki Cat said, yeah, that's a perfect color on you, Shelly. Oh, you're so sweet. Radical Geek is here. Uh, hey. hey, evening, Matreya. Carrie said, you know why Snoop Dogg used the umbrella in Texas? Faux drizzle. Oh. I see Susie's here. Hey, hey. Susie, welcome howdy, back. Howdy. Said, happy Friday, all. Hey. And Carrie said, Shelly and Heath can brag with those brag aminos. Well, I'm hoping I can brag about this dish. Uh, Shauna said, I just made pork rind bread for stuffing and a coconut macadamia nut pie. Oh, wow. What? Like, I want that pie. Pictures or it didn't happen. Oh, oh. That, okay. That's what it is. Remember, she was going to have make us some stuff when she came for the pre-cruise? That's uh, what she's making. Oh, that you're going to have to make that pie. You've been voluntold, madame. Uh, I, that cruise, oh my gosh. And then let me know who all is going to KetoCon that is here tonight. And because we will be bringing our hot sauce and our spice blends. So if you can pre-order so that we make sure we have enough for everyone, please down below is our email. Just shoot us an email. Let us know you'll be at KetoCon. And then we can, um, you know, get that all ordered for you. So I'm excited about that. Um, let's see. Reichman said, no, Shelly. We went from 70s to 40s tonight. Lots wow. and lots of rain. Tomorrow's supposed to be even colder and more rain. It's like all of a sudden it's February again, right? Well, I'm sorry it's cold. I wish uh, this uh, weather to figure out what's going on. Radical Geek said, brr, it is cold. Tried to go for a little bike ride and come home after three miles due to how cold it is. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry. Carrie said, I have never had cauliflower rice. Oh, oh it's wow. amazing. The first few times I had it, I was not a fan. It was too crunchy. Yeah. So we figured out it needs, one, it needs lots of liquid. And then we need to really cook it. Uh-huh. And then it comes out actually... Really, really mimics uh, standard rice. Yeah. She makes a terrific, we need to do a video, a standalone video just for this, of your um, ca uh, your Mexican rice. Oh, yeah. So, I see the liquid's getting low there. So, probably, if you're done slicing everything, we can, here, I'll give you this. Okay. And then, yeah, we're going to switch out. So, he's going to go put this on a burner that's set on low over there. Mm -hmm. So it could just sit there and continue. Yes. Our stove has a very special setting called low over there. Yeah, it does. Low over there. 
It's smelling good. Uh, Shauna said, I do like some cauliflower rice. Mm -hmm. 20TQ Cat said, oh, wow, I barely remember those car inspections. Indiana stopped doing that shortly after I started driving. Well, you're lucky because I honestly feel like it's double taxation. Right? I um, I think that was, uh, well, too many years ago. Let's just say a long time ago. Wow, that's nice. Or my general term is the other day. So I have to, um, perfect, thank you. We need the cutting board anymore? I think we're good on that, right? Um, yeah, we're good. Okay, because now I want to for your spoon rest. Yeah, let's see. Let me move some of this over. Oh, okay, perfect. And then we can use it, but I also want a regular spoon for all these. Yeah, okay. I mean, I know I've made a little more dishes ready, but um, I think it was just easier having it that way all staged like this. And if you want, you can put those two items up. Okay. Here, for the uh, all the veggies. Okay. Um, yeah, so we have to get yearly car inspection and car tag. So first yeah. I have to go get the inspection done, which I think is $30, $40. Uh -huh. Then I have to submit to the state that I had the inspection done, which I think is kind of silly on a car that's, less than 10 years old right and then i have to submit that to then get my car tag which is like 77 dollars so a hundred dollars every year just so i keep driving my car isn't that ridiculous uh shauna said heath's method is madness <laughs> who said that shauna i'm fixing to get mad at you little girl <laughs> Mrs. Perfectly and Perfect Keto said, okay, kids, no squirting or flickering. <laughs> uh, you heard her, no squirting tonight. <laughs> That's boring. You want to add some butter to this now? Yeah, if you think we need it. Oh, yeah, because it looks a little dry in there. Uh, Carrie said, Heath is shooting at us with his habanero. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I'm just going to do a tablespoon of butter here All right. and then once this gets hot or once that's melted basically then we'll add the beef i'll let heath add the beef in you know, I was say, give me the butter so if it starts melting it can go in this towel we need to wash anyways you know, oh it's those. not gonna melt okay, but okay i'm just trying to be tidy um let's see and then i'll just move this butter around yeah uh Let's see. I read that one. And then Roz is here. Hey, hey Roz. Welcome hey, back. Hey. Said, hi, y'all. Just got here. Looks like another delicious meal. I am so excited for tonight's meal, y'all. Me I've been almost honestly looking forward to this since last week. Sharon said, tonight I made a little pork panko cups and used for mini taco bowls with chicken fajita mix. Ooh, Thank that you. sounds Thank yummy. You. Now I know what we're making next week for the feast. Oh, we have that little uh, bowl maker. Let's mm -hmm. do that and do taco bowls like she said, or fajita bowls. Okay. Well, we do taco bowls because we have tons of taco meat. Yeah, it's true, y'all. Um, we're ha we're going to be... Uh, taco run, about yeah, it. Yeah. We're going to have... Uh, we have a lot of ground beef. We've been running into uh, cells lately. Yeah. We've been stocking up on it. And she's like, let's just slow down on buying the meat for a little while. We can just use what we have. Okay. You want to start adding the ground beef? And then once he adds that, I'm also I'm just gonna put some salt, pepper, garlic, just because you know I, I feel like you need to season it. Shauna said I made pork rind bread for stuffing for Sunday and a macadamia slash coconut pie, also for Sunday. Then I made pork country ribs, and she put the pic on the Hungry Horde headquarters. Oh, that sounds good, Shauna. I can't wait to see that pie. Just Jason Keto said, bought a case of zero sugar Dr. Pepper this week. I yeah. can drink way too many of those. <laughs> I got some. There was this, uh, I don't know if y'all heard me talking about it a couple of uh, episodes ago. They were doing three for 15 in my HEB. And then I went next the next day, I went to Kroger and they were doing three for 14. But I don't know if I'm going to be buying them that often because honestly, the cake's kind of like flat. That's what I said from the beginning. And I was like, it doesn't seem like it's as um, carbonated carbonated as i remember and to me they're just so sweet but he loves them and i think that's the thing too is you can definitely drink a lot of them yes they go down really fast yeah i'm gonna let he do this part because i feel like he's the master 
at um, just getting this into little bits. He's just so good at it. Um, whoop, sorry. There, not gonna hang on to it without making making it. it so you don't start flickering and squirting and everything. You gotta that's, that's you gotta have your part. hand on a handle. All right. Radical Geek said, sub in Poblanos if you don't like it spicy. Oh, That's a true. good idea. Because in I general, like that. Rule for peppers, the bigger, the smaller the pepper, the spicier. Yeah. Uh, Very Air good Fry, idea. Yeah. Air Fry and Auntie said, oh my God, the ribs are so juicy and tender. Yeah. Those country pork ribs. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He loves those too. Susie said, we went to a Brazilian steakhouse for lunch. Ooh, nice, Susie. Speaking of, I got a. I saw an ad for one of our uh, Brazilians here. They're doing a wag, they're, uh, spa, uh, featuring wagyu uh, brisket, know. not brisket uh, steaks. Yes. We were thinking about going. We don't know. I want um, to go. But... And then she said, "Tomorrow I'm making flaking style ribs and what turkey wings, where they cut it the other way." Oh, the cross cut ones. But y'all, what Sorry. she's talking about with this uh, hamburger meat getting this, this is why I love that fish spatula. It's a little thin edge on here, and it's pliable. Mm -hmm. And I just keep working at that uh, beef, breaking it all down. Mm. Well, I can't wait to see and what, hear all about that, Susie. That looks good. Uh, Sharon said, poblano pepper is one of my favorites. Yes, poblano pepper is, oh, it is so good. And I have... A, um, it's a short, but it's a poblano pizza. So basically, I take the poblano pepper after you sweat it, then I I fill it with all the pizza ingredients. So you basically have a pizza stuffed poblano. Oh, so it was so good, y'all. Like I made it several times. Um, we bought like a, a dozen of them, and we, like, we ate them for two or three nights in a row. <laughs> it was so good. We love pizza. Yeah. So that's a good change to pizza. Just putting it inside a poblano. And generally um, also when you slice it, so you go to stuff it and everything, it, it, it's the, the ribs aren't and the seeds aren't there like on a uh, jalapeno. Right. Yeah. Just a little bit at the top. Yeah. Uh, Radical Geek said, umami is like a savory, meaty deliciousness with complex flavor. Thank you, Radical Geek. Would that work well with this? You could add that. that one yeah, we actually have a umami seasoning. We got oh, it at Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. Um, so there's something. I think you have Trader Joe's, right, um, Shauna? So you can definitely. I want to get it just so she'll see what it Yeah, looks. so you can go there and uh, get get you actual umami, uh, umami seasoning. Of course, now that I want it. It's uh, on the top shelf on the right. No, the little white thing. On the right there, second Cheesy from the back. Onion, I remember everything. That's um, why I rearrange it for. She loves that. Uh -huh. That's what it looks like. It's the mushroom and company. But show, uh, does it show what the ingredients are? Up, up. No, that's the nutrition. And bring it a little bit closer. Okay, down a little bit. Okay, hold it steady. I'm trying to. The Japanese word for savory taste is one of the five basic tastes along with sweet, sour. Oh, I see. I was pretty good. And then what's, Oh, here it is. Oh, up and then closer down the right there. So onions, ground mustard seed, uh, mushroom powder, white mushroom powder, red pepper, black pepper, and dried thyme. There you go. See, I was right. It does have like mushroomy. See, it even says Trader Joe's. Yeah. But uh, it, it is really good. It I know that it says crushed red pepper, but it's not spicy at all. It's just a very earthy flavor. They walked it by the red pepper. Uh, <laughs> Almost like uh, the way they do the LaCroix. Yeah, right when said uh, Sean and her mom are going to have a great Easter dinner, right? Patty said on the cruise we'll be sweating our butts off, uh -huh. right? That'd be nice. I don't mind shaving a little bit of my butt off at this point. So Maybe just sweat the hips down a little bit, okay. right? I'll allow it. <laughs> I don't mind doing that. And you know what? I was uh, getting, 
I was thinking, um, cause I know, um, Debbie and Kathy are posting, you know, things, but I remember last year on the cruise, they actually did, I, I don't remember as a 5k, but I know they did a big walk and, and all that. So they'll have activities that, you know, you can participate in if you feel like doing stuff like that. So that's something where we could walk around the ship and uh, get our exercise in. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm trying to not get too excited because I want to be excited and enjoy the time at KetoCon because I'm really looking forward to that yes. too. Yes. And that just being two weeks, two weeks. Oh my gosh. I'm like so freaking excited for uh, KetoCon too. So like we, uh, I've got, Several bottles already made up of our hot sauce. Grab one right there and just show them what they're, what they're going to look yeah. like. Yeah. So this is the hot sauce. We have the OG. We only have a few of the OG left. And I also have the black garlic. So we're going to um, have these available. You get this whole bottle. I forget the ounces. But anyway, it's 15. You see the size of it, right? I consider this like a traditional hot sauce bottle. Uh-huh. And it's glass. These are glass bottles. Um, and I make sure each one has a dauber, so it's not just a pour spout. It's a dauber spout. And, and then, of course, if you want it to pour, you can always pop it off. Yeah. And then well, it's like got the, the, the screw-on lid. Yes. So I did try to get some, I think, fairly good quality bottles. Um, but, yeah, so that's what you get. And then any spices, again, just the emails down below. Let us know. Because basically after this week, that's it. Whatever we have finished making by next weekend, that's all we're bringing. Yeah. Now, I have a very cool thing about that hot sauce. Last week, wasn't it last week when I sold it that one? This Monday. On Monday, yeah. I was actually made the very first sale to a non-channel uh, uh, subscriber. Well, I mean, she's a new subscriber. She told me she started following me. Yeah. Uh, but a non-keto person, yeah, right? Yeah, non-keto, yeah. And she uh, she tried it while we were at lunch at work. One of my coworkers bought it. She nice. was really ecstatic about it. So I'm I love that. And I sent a bottle to my manager. Oh, yeah. Have you heard back yet? It, I showed it hasn't been delivered oh, okay, yet. Okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so my manager got it. So I'm excited about that. Um, um, and then I've taken it to work with me when we've gone out to eat for lunch and everything. And oh, all my coworkers have liked it. Nice. Okay, and then I see let's see hates shopping <laughs> she said i'm here i had to go buy a dress that's why she hates shopping what did you have to buy a dress for uh, missy I think I know. oh remember she got that one friend they probably have things going on well you need to send me a picture in the dress like my work sister she actually had a couple dates this past week i was so excited for her and so she had to of course send me her pre-date outfit so i can be like okay yeah you look like hot stuff and um so i'm excited for her so yes yeah, she's been um having fun it's so fun right sometimes what kind of sister is she though if she didn't tune in well, she's busy doing stuff. I mean, that would be a typical sister. <laughs> Your sister never tunes in. That's true, too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I've been so excited. Cousins. Sometimes, like, dating can sometimes be fun, but then you have periods where she's just like, oh, I hate dating. I hate everybody. And then now, all of a sudden, it's raining men, and she's like, okay, I'm, I'm having fun now. <laughs> I'm so happy for By her. By the way, though. we're talking about if you do happen to. I know, right? Air Fry said 2023 low carb pre cruise shenanigans in 54 days in one hour. Really? That's ooh, wow. Wow. You really in one hour? Because I thought we'd be picking you up by now. Uh -huh. um, well, yeah, that's when the shenanigans start, is when we get her in the car. But she said, in one hour. Oh. She said, we're going to pick her up an hour later. Oh. oh. I thought we would be picking you up now. Oh, okay. I don't know. Uh, Rackle Geek said, I hate having to shop. Me too. I am such a fan of online shopping. Yes. Like I just would rather, if I could just shop online, order the stuff and have it sent to me, that's like the best. Uh, but going into a store, yeah. ugh. Sharon said, where is the 2024 cruise going? I know the 2024 is going out of Florida. Uh-huh. So it's probably the same way as last year. 
Yeah, so it's probably going to be, I know um, Sharon, I mean, um, so Sharon, Debbie does have information about the 2024 cruise, but I know at least out of Florida. Um, and then if you're go, if you already know you're going on the cruise for next year, comment below. We probably won't be just a heads up, but um, y'all have fun. It'll be fun. Uh, Susie said, I'm an autumn person. Oh, oh, yeah. Summer is okay as long as there's an AC at night. Yes. yes. Oh, my fan. gosh. AC all the way. Um, oh, I saw Sada told Shauna she's already kicking out uh, after our talk without her. Okay, where's the measuring spoons? Oh, okay, I need a tablespoon. Let's do this. So now to the ground beef, I am going to add a tablespoon of minced garlic. Now you might say, oh my gosh, that seems like a lot, but this is like a pound and a half of meat. So, um, you know, we want it to be, we want good flavors and I hope I have enough ginger. Uh, that's what I was asking you when we were at the store, when did you get anything? Well, I didn't know. You want the... Uh... You want this spoon, or I don't know if it'll help, or the knife, you can scrape it out. Oh, you know what you should have done? Mm -mm. Use the uh, lime juice and rinse it out. Here, I'll just add a little bit of the juices. Too. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Well, here, we're just going to pour the rest of this in. Yeah, maybe the spoon. That one? Yeah. I just see there's a we'll couple pause. little remnants in here. Waste not, want not. That's right. And then we'll, we'll and what we'll do too, because we're good with this, we'll wash that out and throw that in recycling. Okay. So there's that. Okay. And also, I'm gonna wait before we throw it away though, because we make a, make sure we add it to the list to get some more. Okay, and then stir that up really well. And after a minute, once we start smelling the garlic and the ginger, then you're gonna add in all of the vegetables. So stir that up real well. So Shauna said, 57 days, 13 hours till the low carb cruise. Until we get on the cruise, y'all. And if you're going to KetoCon, if you didn't already know this, Kathy and Debbie will be at KetoCon. So you can meet up with them ahead of time. Uh, Carrie said, Shelly and Heath will have to take out the shoelaces for the Thai dish. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, Patty said, I'm a 65 to 80 degree person. Yes. Wow, 80? Oh, 80 is too high. No, I'm not. I'm more of a um, 50 to 60. 60. I would say 60. Usually when we get in the 50s, we're getting a little chill. Yeah. 60 to 70 is perfect. Yeah, we usually keep our house during the day. We usually keep it around 74. Yeah, only because it, if it wasn't the high electricity, I would probably keep the house at 70 all the time yeah. and then a little bit lower at night. But, you know, I'm trying to try to save on that electrical bill. Hey, Jackie's here. Hey. Jackie's Jeep's journey. Hey, welcome. Said fall and spring for me. And she's ear hustling. Mm. Oh, awesome. Making that money. Getting ready for that cruise, right? Um, let me know. Have any of y'all uh, booked your excursions or anything for the cruise? What are oh, you wait. looking forward to doing? Mm -hmm. Just the one. We're not going to really do any excursions except for one in Rotan. Um, but, yeah, that'll be so exciting, Jackie. Uh, just Jason Keto said, I like the fall mainly for the foliage. Right. Foliage. Uh, uh, foliage. But warm days with cool nights are always nice too. I I do agree. I'm a fall person. I like I like when I feel that it's getting darker and the days are getting shorter and I feel like uh, the weather when it's coming in and then that's Halloween time and everything. Okay, if you want to start adding the bell pepper and oh already I thought you wanted all the shallots and the serranos and everything, but okay. Um, yeah, do the bell pepper and jalapeno and then the shallots. Mmm, okay. smelling good, guys. Um, hate, hates shopping, said driving, so listening for now. Well, you're probably home by now. Cat said, I need to move. I don't like my, anything less than 70 year round, and that's not here. Wow. Yeah, you probably... Where would you go? Because uh, 
I mean, even here, it's been lower than 70 today. So I don't know. what. Where would you go? I guess maybe uh, Arizona? <laughs> uh, Radical Geek said, I like it when it's between 75 and 80 and sunny. Oh. Wow. But remember, though, we're not outdoorsy. Right. Uh, Mary said, yep, white people hot. I can only uh, a little hotter, right? Yo, That's we're fine. Back, we've gone to some... Uh, Thai restaurants and uh, a couple other little Asian ones. Uh -huh. Well, she orders it really, really spicy. The waiter's like all wide eyed about it. And then she'll go and get the chef or a couple of the other cooks or whatever and go, like, come here, look at this white girl. <laughs> they'll, show, they'll show off, show her off. Right. Say, look what she's eating, y'all. Can you believe this? Can you stir that for yeah, me? Yeah. Uh, Sharon said, and no humidity. That yes, would be a blessing. Where can you go? where it is 60s to 70s with no humidity. Estes Park. I, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Do they get humidity there? I don't think so. This thing is too high. Um, that would be I nice. Well, Amy Davis. It. Hey, Amy. She said, yeah. finally cut a guy alive. You guys are awesome. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Amy. Glad Welcome. You to, glad you were able to tune in. Yeah, just like flip it up. I want them on the bottom. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. I'm it's just... going to take a minute, though. In the meantime, while you're watching this, you're missing comments. Oh, am I missing? Am I missing, y'all? Um, Let's see. And then Carrie said, I had rain here for the last two days. Us, too. It wasn't heavy, which is good. When the rain clears, and then I will have to mow again. Right? Yep. That is one thing. It does make the, the mowing happen more frequently. Um, but yeah, it's our backyard is now like a swamp. It's a swamp again, but that's fine. Uh, Brenda's here. She said, good evening from Kentucky. Hey, howdy, Brenda. Howdy, howdy. How are you doing in Kentucky? Uh, 20 TQ cat said, then I'd get to Florida and just complain. It was too hot. Can't right. please me, I guess. <laughs> right. That's what we say about the weather here. If you, if you don't like it, just wait 10 minutes. It'll change. Right. Okay. Now we go ahead and add in the um, onion or the um, shallot. Shallot, shallot. I ended up having to do them in two containers. That's all right. And then I will be getting this sauce kind of going here in a few minutes. Um, but yeah. I get you, uh, 22Q cat. And then Mary said, 60s and 70s coming from Minnesota this coming week. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Carrie said, Shelly and Heath, have y'all made pizza with cauliflower? Of course, 2KK has the chicken crust pizza 2.0 now. We've never made it homemade. We bought the preformed cauliflower crust. Yeah. And we're just, eh, it's a, I'd rather have the meat crust. Mm -hmm. The pizza. Yeah. There. Put those onions underneath or here we can kind of i really think show. that you know, the cauliflower crust is worth the effort to make it fresh right from scratch right probably not um and I, here's my thing with the cauliflower crust that we've had i've never been like a fan of yeah. that and then also we've noticed even like with the frozen one like the full pizzas if you look at the carb count on it Versus a standard pizza, sometimes it's higher. Yeah, so you really have to watch ingredients, too, when you're buying the store-bought ones. There. That one's got some liquid, so we're just going to let those sit in that. Simmer down. But um, I have, I guess my thing is, like, I was always a, I like a thin crust yeah. pizza. So when it comes to the pizza crust that we try, because we've done the, the chicken, we've done the sausage and the beef the beef yeah we tried sausage and beef uh all the different ones i mean the keto chow crust we made yes. turned out really good yeah, if you want like kind of a new york style where it's foldable but to me my absolute favor is either doing a skillet or when we've made them on the blackstone where it's just a cheese well, crust that actually is that's yeah. my favorite because you could get the cheese crispy on the bottom. So it's kind of mimics to me like a domino style where it's that thin, crispy crust. And that's my favorite. Like a Chicago style, like a true Chicago style. Yeah, the thin, the thin, thin, yeah. crunchy 
pizza. That's what I like. What is y'all's favorite? Like when you're thinking of pizza, do you like the, you know, New York style where it's like the big fluffy where you can bend it in half and it's got that, you know, bendable type dough? Or do you like the thin extra crispy? Or do you like a deep dish? Or, you know, do you Most like the, mm -hmm. yeah, right. Or do you like more of the uh, chicken or sausage or cauliflower crust? Like, what is your favorite? Uh, Shauna said, if I make everything Heath um, Vala told me I was making, I'd have to come two weeks early. I'm okay? Come on. Come on. Come. We already got the room ready for you. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I don't see the problem. I know. Problem? I don't understand what. What you're saying here. Uh, okay, so you just volunteered to change your flight, I heard. That's fine with me. I like your attitude, ma'am. And your willingness <laughs> to adapt. Right? Radical Geek said, Ohio charges an extra fee for having a hybrid. That is because you use less gas, so the state gets less tax income. That's bogus. That's silly. That is. Shauna said, okay, stepping away for a minute. I may or may not be back when she gets to my comment. Well, considering I'm 20 minutes behind at this mo moment, probably not. Radical Geek said, but now our entire household has added commuter bikes, so we will drive even less. Oh, wow. That is awesome. I'm happy for that. Hate Shopping said, inspection is regulated. Should not be more than like $7? Really? Because when I was looking it up, it said the state, the state um, itself charges for inspections like 1850 and then the place have to charge you know labor fees their labor fees on top of that um i mean i wish i'd get it for seven dollars uh brenda said i use my potato masher helps get burger tiny pieces that's right oh, that's remember smart. yeah yeah that is we still have the potato smasher, so yeah. Yeah, that is, that's really smart. Or I know some people have that special spatula now where you twist yeah. it. Yeah. I'm just push, pushing these, uh, these well, you can, down in there. You could start all up yeah, now, I actually. To, that's the problem. You don't? No, I, I'm wanting them. I like where it's at. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, just Jason said, you need a meat masher to chop up that beef. I mean, that's what I thought he was, Jason. I am the meat masher. He's my meat masher. We obviously got after hours like early today, right? Oh, bluegrass girl. Hey, hey Sarah. Hey. She says, hi, everyone. How are you doing? Haven't seen you in a moment. 22Q Cat said, yes, meat mashers are life. I recently got one, and it's so awesome. All right. I guess we're adding to the Wow. Movies. That's cool. Um, Susie said, uh, that's a really cool spatula. What is it called? Oh, this, this is one? called a fish spatula, F-I-S-H. Because technically what it is is for when you're making fish, like when you're frying it or even in the skillet, you know? Yeah. So you scoop up under it, and it picks up the whole filet or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it works. I find it works really good going around the skillet like this and i can sweep the sides a lot better than a spoon or the okay. thick spatula and it's pliable that's what i like about it it's not technically what it's designed for but there's a right way a wrong way and heath's way okay so now i'm going to start adding before we add the final touches well you can throw in the habaneros if you want so they cook down um but i'm going to start adding the sauce I get it open. Now, why do they do this? They put plastic wrap around the handle, which we already peeled off, and then they put a cover. A safety seal. Uh, yeah. Oops. Like, who, who's getting in this liquid aminos? Something to give you something to brag about. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that was for you, Carrie. Okay. Good? Yeah. So, I'm just going to stand up for this. And Mary said, big poblanos are good for stuffing. Yes. I agree. Okay. I know the recipe I said two tablespoons. But I feel like this much meat, I want to do three. Right? And then I'll have my okay husband too. keep stirring. Once we see how it's turning out. No, what? What I have my husband keep stirring. Okay. And then a good tablespoon of the rice wine vinegar. Uh, on you, 
just fucking get over there to it. And, well, let me get this lid back in. Okay. And then the fish sauce. It's, I'm, I'm high enough. I'm going to do a tablespoon of this, too. Mmm. Okay. And then I am just doing a tablespoon of the brown sugar swerve. We have a giant bag of it, and I just told her, let's do it. Uh, that way, get clear off some more of this. Let me see if you emptied that. I mean, I have a whole stack over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, it's right there, that lump. So, really get right it. Yeah. Let me get that in there. Okay. And then I'm just going to add a little more salt, pepper, garlic. Y'all, this is like my go to base seasoning, I call it. That's all we do is mix up periodically. When it starts getting low, we'll put equal parts salt, pepper, and garlic in there. Mm hmm. And then what I'm going to do, well, actually, I'm going to use this spoon. Yeah. I'm just going to kind of taste it here. I want to make sure it's all stirred around the edges. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. Mm. Nice. At least it wasn't at me. Here, I want I'm you to... I'm going to take some, too, but... Okay, never mind. I'll do it. No, oh. I want it in this one. It's easier oh. to taste it. And tell me what you think we need any more of. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I need nope. anything else. That's perfect. Well, now I'm splashing. Do you want to start it, Heath? I know, right? That's really good, actually. You like it? Yeah. You're just missing something, though. You think that's enough sweetener, or do you want more sweetener? No, no, no. Uh -uh. Does it need more of the basically soy sauce? No, it is missing something. Like what? More acidity? More garlic, I think. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right. Let's see, y'all. It's looking really good, it that isn't it? Yeah. Let me. I'm gonna try a little more. Oh yeah. Weren't you also wanting to do a fried egg on top of this? Yeah, we'll do that when we're oh, ready yeah. to serve it up. Yeah, I think it's good here. Okay. Maybe, maybe just a splash more of the vinegar. Right. Like a little, needs, I think, a little acidity. Okay, you want to stir that up for me? We'll see. No, it's Serrano. This is just going to be for garnish? No, we're going to add that here in just a second. I just didn't want the Serrano's like real soft. Right. Kind of crunchy. Yeah. All right. Now let me try. Go on, baby. The lot of coming in here looking at me like crazy. Mm. Wag that tail. Yeah, it's a lot better. Okay. Now toss in the Serranos. And was this two or three of them? That was two. Oh, and this basil smells amazing, you guys. Okay. I'm just going to couple of these I'm just going to kind of break up and then do you want the cutting board or are you just going to do it all by hand like that yeah just do it by hand rustic. yeah oh. oh a good thing we left it over here what that uh cutting board so we can use a spoon as a uh hot plate for this oh yeah and we're going to pull this off yeah okay and then do you mind going checking on the rice? On the boss. I'm just gonna keep 
kind of pulling these various leaves of basil apart. Oh, that basil smells really good. This is looking almost like porridge. Uh, we'll use the spoon and take a little bite of that and see how it is. Hang on. Well, I just lay this in here. Here. Oh. That's fine. I just get another one. We got room in the uh, dishwasher. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's still a little crunchy. Okay, maybe turn Here. up the heat to a two. Tell me, what do you think? See what I mean? Turn it to a a, a two. Oops. All right. Now. Going a little secret. Is it really? All right, so I'm gonna put these. All right, and look, found some stragglers over here. And now we got all this basil. I'm gonna stir this up, and then yeah, we're gonna top this with a fried egg. Oh, this looks good. That looked nice and colorful. That looks good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then I'm saving a little bit of the basil just for a fresh topper, right? And now let me try some of this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. I'm so excited. This is going to be so good. Mmm, that's so good. Okay. Um... Let's see. I think I read where Mary said big plumbanos are great for stuffing. They are. Bluegrass Girl said, your mommy is a description of flavors. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, Radical Geek said, they are good for stuffing. One day I will make my chilianos, please. Yes. Oh my goodness, yes. Your Southwest stuff is amazing, Matreya. Mm -hmm. I've learned so much from you. I would love to see your chilianos. Rocky Mountain Girl said, hey, y'all. Hey, howdy, Cindy, howdy. how are you? Radical Geek said, I have that same seasoning. Mushroom is classic umami flavor. Shauna, you will find the Trader Joe's umami spicy? Really? Well, remember, we thought that cheese wasn't spicy, but it hurt <laughs> Shauna. Well, so, I mean, that's good. She's, she's, she knows Shauna's taste. I don't, th I don't I feel mean, like it has any spice at all, though. I uh, know, but she knows Shauna. Okay. I, she, it's you can try to, it when you're here, Shauna. Yeah, it, uh, it's better to uh, err on the side of caution it's with Shauna's That's spice true. level. That's true. Remember? I mean, I'm not trying to put her down. I'm just saying she does not enjoy spicy. So right, right. We do, so that's why it doesn't hit you the same way. Um, and you turn that up to a two. Yes, Maybe should we do two point five? Okay. Okay. And then in the um. Uh, but while I'm up, I'm going to start putting these away. These just go on the cabinet. I mean, yeah, those go over there. Um, and then also in the um, in the skillet drawer is the little skillet I like to use for um, mm -hmm. eggs, for fried eggs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Susie said, we have some of that seasoning, too. It tastes quite mushroomy to me. See, that's what I thought, The too, skillet Susie. drawer right here? No, the one over there. You know, oh, the Teflon one. Yes. This guy. Yes. <laughs> okay. We'll do that here-ish. Here-ish. <laughs> Just set it down. That's fine. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's looking good. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. I was going to start putting this stuff up. Rocky Mountain Girl said, just listening tonight. I think that's awesome. Carrie said, Heath needs to make Texas cloud tears so it can rain hot sauce. That would be something, right? Shada said, back. Had to clear off my desk working on MCT labels. You're the best. That goes on the counter too, right? Yes. Thank you. No, oh, you're so awesome, Shauna. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 22 Q Cat has a question for you, Heath. She <laughs> says, how's your new job going, Heath? Yes and no. Um, I felt like I was just, uh, struggling with it. And Shelly saw me last night have a little bit of a uh, crisis with it. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> but when I went in this morning. I was still being the butter. Okay. When I went in this morning, it turns out I'm right in queue with everybody else. There's actually, because y'all, this is what tomorrow, I mean, sorry, Monday starts my third week, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there was uh, uh, co-workers there that have been with the company for five weeks and they're having the same issues I'm having. So I'm actually on par with everybody. I, I'm, putting, I'm just a little too much, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, too much pressure on myself. They told me several times to relax and just, you know, enjoy the ride. Mm. But other than that, I'm loving it because um, I'm uh, I have several flow over basically mm. from my previous jobs, especially when I was working for cabinets. Because what I would do for the cabinet company, I would go job to job checking on the cabinets. Well, I'm going to be doing this, uh, working on, with my clients. But this way, it's going to be so much easier, y'all. I don't have to carry any material. I don't have to carry any tools. The only tool I'm going to have to carry is my noggin. <laughs> my can my, In your my, mouth. My, my laptop and my uh, phone. Those are the only tools I have to carry now. Yeah. And that's it. Nice. And maybe some paperwork, you know? Yeah. So, because I've already, uh, what I used to do is I had a little <laughs> plastic um, file box and I had all my paperwork for my cabinet stuff right there in the passenger seat next to me. And I was able to go through and grab everything I needed. Well, I've already seen how my trainer does his uh, truck. He has similar. He didn't put his in the passenger seat. He has it in the back of his truck. He has a, um, he has a Jeep that has a cover on it. And it basically has a trunk, kind of like an SUV style. And he mm -hmm. just has the, he just has his set up the same way, so I, I have stuff already set up to where it'll work the same uh, as, as I've always done. So I'm I'm excited about that. Yeah, that's awesome. Ooh, y'all, it's looking so good. Pulling it. Wish we could turn this burner down to low. <laughs> um, again, that last one we need to do next then is get another one of these. And then Toy Q Cat said, in your training, Shelly. Well, yes. oh, yeah, telling the saga you had this week. That's so, fun too. Tuesday, the fourth, marked my one year anniversary. So, I Guess was. Guess what like, you got for an anniversary present from the company? <laughs> I was like so excited. And when I went in Tuesday morning, so Monday, no problems. Logged in. I had to change my password. You know how that is. But everything, like after I changed my password, I logged in again. No other issues. Everything was working fine. I want to start this or let it ride? Um, yeah, I start every couple of minutes. And then um, Tuesday, I get up to log in, and it keeps giving me this BitLocker error. And it, it won't let me even, like, get to the login screen. Like, it just, it, as soon as you boot it up, which is weird because... I left it at the login screen, you know, the lock screen. So I don't know why it like basically revolted, <laughs> rebooted. And it, and it would just keep coming back saying, oh, you need to restart. And I tried that. I tried completely shutting it down, shutting the, I have a docking station, shutting the docking station off, doing all of that. Nothing would work. I'm Googling it. I called the IT the IT, the, whoever we use for IT is just not that useful. Oh. But I called them and they're just like, uh, you know, and I always start logging into work early. Well, then at this point, it's already eight o'clock when I'm supposed to be working. And I'm like, 
heck, it's issues. not working. So I teach just like, oh, 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 try this. And she's like, well, it should say this. I'm like, no, that's not what it's saying. Like, it's not letting me log in. And I said, you know, so I Google it. And like, you're supposed to have like an admin key or something. That's from the basil. Okay. I just, it, it looked funny. <laughs> so I was like, okay. And so she's like, well, someone will call you. I said, okay. An hour What's goes by. Mean? Two oh. hours later. Exactly. Two hours later, I'm livid because, you know, like, I'm not there to work and I'm supposed to have training that day and or that afternoon. So finally, after two hours, I call him back. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like, I was really rude. I was like, this is ridiculous. I have not had a call. Like, this does not look like it's a big ordeal. Like, you need to call me. I need to speak to somebody now. Why don't you just transfer me now? She goes, oh, no, let me let me put this in here. Well, then the, a, a guy calls me like 15 minutes later. And he's like, yeah, on the original ticket, they had your number, you know, ending in 05. And I'm like, no, I always say 01. And he's like, oh, yeah, because I tried calling, but, yeah, it wasn't a good number. And I was like. Oh. So they just had bad intel on that But then he was just like, but I'm going to have to send you a new computer. I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, but when I Googled you, you just have to enter an admin key. He's like, yeah, but since you're off site, he said, like, I can't basically give you the admin key over the phone. And since I can't um, put a hands on it, put, a, you know, like I can't remote into the computer because you can't even get to that part. Then the only way to handle this, I have to send you a new one. I'm like, oh. So I'm like all complaining and he's like, I'll send it overnight. So you should get it tomorrow morning. I'm like, okay, like what time? He said, well, FedEx. Um, so you should get it. You know, usually I'll, I'll try to get it there, you know, 730. I'm like, okay, because this is like, like, Crucial. you know, I'm, I'm missing training. I, I need to be at work. And so Wednesday rolls around. So get a FedEx thing saying, oh yeah, 730 to 1130. Okay. So I'm waiting and waiting. I get up early because I'm say, like, you saw the uh, shipping thing and it said Memphis. <laughs> yeah, I get up early because I was like, okay, what if what if they need my signature? Like, I need to be here and up because normally I don't roll out of bed till seven thirty eight. So I get up early. Thirty eight. Thirty eight. Yes. And so I roll out of bed and I'm waiting, waiting. And when I check it, it said it was in in transit and it was currently in. Memphis. I was like, well, it ain't getting here at 7 30. If it's in Memphis. And then, like, an, they're going to teleport it. <laughs> yeah. An hour later, it said it was at the Houston distribution center. And I'm like, oh, really? And it kept saying, still, uh, it said delivery uh, yeah. promised by 11 30. It should be there before noon. So 11.58, I'm like, well, they got two minutes to get it here. I love that operative word. It should be. <laughs> right. So anyways, y'all, I didn't get my laptop till 4.30. So another day completely gone. Two days. Of you not... got some chores done around the house, though. Well, that's true. I did. Because <laughs> I, I Little Miss Busybody. I, right. I can I... never relax. Well, what's relaxing? Um, so, yeah, I couldn't. Glorious is what it is. Um, do you mind checking on the rice? I just see if it's boiling or what over there. Um, so yeah, I did. I polished furniture. I descaled my Nespresso. Like I got some stuff done, but yeah, so I get it then. And then I was going to go ahead and log everything in. And the guy was like, oh, the password I'm sending to you, it might look like an I, but it's actually a lowercase L. Well, I tried the password. It didn't work. Cause I was like, I can figure this out on my own. No, it wouldn't log in. So I was like, oh, is it boiling or what? Yes. Oh, well, that's good. Let it let it let it ride. Yeah, let it ride. I was gonna bring it over and I'll let you look at it, but okay. Yeah. And if yeah. Okay. Um, and maybe let's see. Because I just wish that wouldn't be boiling. Let me turn this on to low and then you want to switch it over. And we'll just do this for right now. Um yeah. I just don't want to get it on my computer. Right. What I can do, though? Well, I was saying, you, you can move it. Yeah. Okay. That's good. There. Yeah. I just feel like that's better. I don't know why. Yeah. I just It looks better. Do you um, want this on here or no? No. <laughs> and then you want to check on the right because it does sound like it's 
is it really boiling? Yeah, it's sizzling. All right, yeah, just stir that up. So I think we need to pull it. That's what I'm saying. I was going to pull it over there and... Well, taste it again. Here's your spoon. I got one right here, too. Oh, okay. Even better. So I want to burn my mouth. So, yeah. So I couldn't set it up that night. So I was like, mm. oh, bum. Well, is it better? Yes. Up, 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 up. Closer, closer. There you go. Perfect. I think that's ready. I'm live with that. Yeah. Tastes like rice. Yeah. You want to go a little longer? Is that what you're saying? Um. But how how much is it? It's it's getting, we're losing the liquid. Okay, that's good. Maybe turn it back down to low then. Um, and then so finally, uh, Thursday morning. I uh, called the IT guy, right? Like I called him at seven and then I called him again at seven 30 and he, he walks me through it and he was like, yeah, it should be an L. And I'm like, it, yeah, it's be. not accepting it. Like I, it, like, even though the password was like 20 characters long, like I can read a password. Right. He's like, all thinking, I don't know how to enter it. And I'm like, no, I know how to enter it. You even did it three times just to make sure. Right. And so he's like, well, he puts me on hold and he's like, Oh, well, instead of the L, let's try it as an I, a you capital think you I, that? and that worked. So got my but laptop, then... everything is, so finally everything, getting everything set up, everything's, but then for some reason, my, I have two monitors that go with it. Those monitors weren't, weren't connecting, even though my, um, so I had a docking station, my mouse that's connected to the docking station worked, my headset that's connected worked. The laptop worked, all the Ethernet, all of that worked, but not the monitors. And then he thought I had a ThinkPad docking station. I'm like, no, it's Kensington. He's like, no, no. I'm like, I'm reading it. And he's like, well, what, did you you buy it yourself? I'm like, no, look, I don't buy anything for the company. Like, they're going to supply it all. And he's like, he goes, okay. He goes, well, how about this? Um let's and he had me send him a picture because i guess he still didn't believe me when i'm reading the freaking thing and it, um he was like oh that's you know a really I, an L. <laughs> I know he's like oh that's a really old old one i don't even we don't even use those anymore well we okay. do because i still have it <laughs> i know and so then he's like well i'm gonna have to send you a new docking station Thanks, buddy. So that was sent by FedEx, and I got that today at um, like eleven thirty. So at least it arrived earlier. But so yesterday I worked my, you know, all day, and I didn't take a lunch or anything uh, because I felt like I was already wasting away my day. So I ended up using um, just one screen, and it's like the laptop for my work is this same size right here. It's this they small. They don't see what size it is, do they? Yeah, well, they can kind of see. You see, it's a small. It's what is it? A thirteen inch? I think that's how I do all of my work on, and I work on four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know, I don't know ten different screens that I'm working with. So it was, it was challenging to like okay gotta pop over here pop over here and pull up over here doing everything on one little screen oh my gosh you guys so today when the new thinkpad docking station arrived then i did um at lunch uh, or after lunch rather i hooked that up it only took a couple minutes it was pretty easy and then now I have all three of my monitors back. I was so excited. So this afternoon I got to work with all three monitors. All is right in the world. I'll tell but, another thing you bonus you got out of that too. The box. Oh, yeah. So then I used the box that the... Uh, the shipping container. The box that the uh, docking station was um, like it's it's cell box or you know the box that it comes the in not container. not the shipping container no, not, okay, no it's bad. the one inside that just held oh, the, I got you. my bad um that was the perfect size and height to put one of my monitors on top of so it would raise my monitor up that like three inches which is perfect so now i've got that one here that i have my laptop here and then my other monitor here and then my personal monitor over here 
So I believe the wall like of monitors. <laughs> right. So because of me, with my computer issues on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, basically all can all training was canceled this week. So um, did you all reschedule it for next week? Yeah. But um, and of course, because I wasn't there, they got really busy. But don't worry, y'all. When I was able to log in and get it log in yesterday, by the end of the day, I had all the cues back down. So Super Shelly to the rescue. That's right. I was like, whip, whip, whip. Y'all need to do this. Hey, do this. I need you to do this. Blah 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 blah. Like giving all the orders here. <laughs> uh, Sana said, finally sitting down. Kitchen cleanup is done. Nice. Woohoo! Hello to everyone else I missed while I was just listening. That's awesome. Shauna said, my flight's a little later now, but you are two hours behind me. I know. Sharon said, I'll be back in a bit. Have to go paint on my door. Oh, oh fun. Wow. Matre said, I may die bicycling to work with two laptops. Wow. You're not trying to type and write at the same time, right? You're just carrying them, right? Right, right. Shauna said, as Shelly says, she's a fan of online shopping. I'm opening one package from Amazon and one package from Timu. Oh, oh so jelly. Uh, Tweety Cat said, the Timu madness continues for me. I think I play seven or eight orders now addicted. Wow. That is awesome. What's been your favorite? Those of you that have used Timu, what has been your favorite item that you have gotten from them? And that, and then what was one item that you were like, well, I'm going to go ahead and order it because it's just a buck and a quarter. And then you got it, and you were amazed at how great it was. And then what was something that you we thought need to get sponsored by Timu, obviously. And what was one thing that you thought was like, oh, I yeah, that was not worth the the dollar that I spent on it. Like you were disappointed. I'm just curious. Uh, Shauna said, "I want to live in shorts and sleeveless shirts, and I love a good spummer weather." Spummer? What's a spummer? Right between spring and summer, I guess. Oh, I guess, I'm guessing that makes sense. Hate shopping said co worker's daughter has a quinceanera. Oh, oh how fun! So you got to get all fancy. Shauna said, Oh, I forgot I bought something for someone named Renee in this pack. Oh, Carrie said, I'm still coffee and caffeine free for 434 days. That's awesome. Shauna said, I also do, I also in this package got a dress. A necklace, a butter keeper, replacement lids for my 20 ounce travel. But wow, that's awesome! Wow, that's good. Sharon said, Ear hustling in the garage now. Rocky Mountain Girl said, Colorado is dry year round and no humidity. See, oh, I told you, Park, State Park. it's perfect. That's told where you. we're meant to be. Told you. Okay, well, we'll do that. Okay, uh, let's but go. But I'm ahead. only licensed in Texas. Oh, that's true. I can probably test it. Well, when we win the lottery. Yeah. Um, And Renee said, at 717 driving. Oh, I'm really behind. Carrie said, I have both computers dueling and the Windows computer split screen. That's awesome. Sana said, I never liked the cauliflower crust either. My fave was always chicken crust or coconut flour thin crust. Ah, nice. Okay. I don't we know if I have the coconut. No, now we have something new to try. Thank you. Shauna said, laugh out loud, who's paying the extra money for the flight changes? Uh, not us. Well, uh, we can take up a, a GoFundMe for it. Sana said, I'm trying so hard to behave with he playing with the meat. <laughs> Are you really trying, though? Are, Are you, you jealous? <laughs> Would you rather be playing with the meat? <laughs> Shauna said, yes, people tampered with Tylenol in the 80s, right? So now everything has to be vacuum sealed and double insulated. Carrie said, Shelly, you should see what they steal at the stores. That is why they put all that stuff on there so you can't get into the product. Right. But you, if you steal it, you can still get into the product when you get home. Like, it's still going to be available. Uh, Patty said, my mother-in-law said she pays like seven to seven fifty ish for her inspection and she's in Texas. You should look around for cheaper well, the big sticker we went to, they said they have the cheapest price. Well, we got to do some more research, I guess. Toy TQ Cat said, oh, my God, that's exactly uh, I was thinking about the whole tunnel tampering thing. What an ordeal that mess was. I don't even think I remember that. Mm -hmm. uh, Patty said, I have two Timo orders on the way, too. Oh, I'm so happy for y'all. 
Shauna said, I had one TV delivered two days ago and one today and one in a week. Goodness, Shauna, you're right there with 22 Q Cat. Carrie said, I can smell it through the computer. It smells so good. Thank you, brother. It does. It's about ready to get plated up. Keto Simple is here. He hey, said, Are buddy. they already an hour behind the chat? Yes. Thanks. We were waiting on you, brother. Right, right. We were waiting. We were waiting, Dustin. Uh, Jazz Puppy is here. Hey. hey, Jazz Puppy. Welcome back. Said hello, everyone. Hope everyone has a great Easter. Thank you. Well, you too. Yeah. What does everybody have planned for Easter? And speaking of, do you want to move this then to that? And I'll get the um, eggs going. The eggs going. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm anxious. And who all is cooking anything? Are you going anywhere? Like, what's the the plan? Are you okay? Yeah, well, no, I just want to set it on the spun cord, the mm. charging cord. And then when you can, slice up a tab of butter, a pat of butter. Butter makes it better. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what y'all are going to have. And then one more pat for um, the next day. A little bit wider. Oh, okay. Oh, wider? Yeah. Well, a little bit more. Like a thicker slice. Thick you slice. You're going to thick my slice? Yes. Um, Matreya said, yeah, that meat chopper is fantastic. Okay, it's going on the list. Y'all talked <laughs> me into it. What are we doing with this uh, rice now? Is it um, ride? You want to, yeah, let it ride for right now. And then... Do you, um, I guess we get our plates going here pretty soon. So we're just going to have a fried egg for topping. Oh, wow. That egg did break. I hope, am I able to get it out? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, shoot. No, it's going to, it's going to pull out. Oh, I don't know. Well, I can get you another one. No, I mean, that's your egg. Oh, well, I can get me another one because I want mine sunny side up. Okay. Well, yeah, if you want another one. Because I'll have um, two. That's fine. Uh, Shauna said, I've had one of those for years. I got it at Pampered Chef. Now you can find comparable ones for much better price, right? Yeah, Pampered Chef's kind of proud of their stuff, ain't they? They are. Like, I like Pampered Chef stuff, but I don't like the um, Price? prices. They're, they're just a little too proud there. Michelle said, looks like I popped in for a delicious recipe. Hey, Michelle, how are you doing? You sure did. We're making this Thai basil beef. Thank you, sir. You still need salt, pepper, and garlic? Uh, nah. I'm going to start clearing some of this stuff out of the way. Right? Let me see. Hopefully I can. Oh, good. That worked perfect, y'all. Okay. And just in um, case. Patty said, we are doing the Gumbelina Preservation Park in Rotan. Ooh. Oh, what are you and doing with the basil? That's going to be finished. Garnish? Yeah. Okay. And um, the dolphins in Costa Maya. Oh, Patty, how lovely. And nothing in but looking around the port in Cozumel. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing in Cozumel. We're just going to look around that port. We've just been there so many times. Yeah. Y'all didn't see that. What? Do you want me to pour off this white egg part or no. just throw it away? Just throw it away. It's fine. Okay. And then. Yeah, I don't want to try. You know, I'm trying to keep it where we don't make a mess. Right? Oh, good. What? That one, the, 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 the yolk stayed on there. That's yeah, perfect. the yolk was good. It was just all the white. That That's fine. That went away. That's really what I want is the yolk. So oh. I maybe I don't need the second one then. Well, too late. You're getting it. Oh, all right then. You're getting it, sir. All right. Uh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, Cosmo, we're just going to walk around the port and probably the same thing in Costa Maya. It works out perfect because I only had two hard weld this morning. Oh, good. Because I forgot to make any last night. Well, if you want, you could start dolloping um, the rice on the plates. Okay. Uh, Radical Geek said you could scoot some holes in the meat there and drop in the eggs, cover, and cook in those meat juices. Oh, that's true. We could have done that. Dang it. See, oh, well. she always helps us. Uh, Dang it. Right? Matreya, thank you. There we go. Maybe I do it up just a little bit more. 
Um, that would have been good. Should have read that first. Hates shopping said, is that ground beef? It sure is. So what I was saying a minute ago before I ventured into something else is we are making Thai basil beef. So we did it with ground beef. And then off to the side, I made a coconut lime rice, Kali rice. And that's what Heath is serving up on our plates right now. I'm just splitting this both between us, right? We'll give you more. I just wanted like a, a one serving part. Well, I can't see you over. Um, can I have like another spoonful? Just a little bit more. Like basically you get three fourths and I get a fourth. Oh, is that good then? Yeah, that looks good. So this is, and then when he pl finishes his, he will show you what it looks like. Um, but yes, yeah, so Thai basil beef, we're doing a fried egg to put on top. I'm just kind of cooking the, the whites here. Should just take another moment. That's the rice. Mm, that looks good. Hey, do me a favor. Uh huh. Take a spoon and scrape off some of this. It's on the on the spatula. Okay. We won't waste it. Wow. Right. And that's all of the rice. Yeah. Wow. From that one bag. And then, do you want to get a serving spoon then for um? All right. The beef. Okay. You want that or you want to just use a spatula? Well, I, I figured a spoon would work better for the right, beef. So right here. Yeah. Um, let's see. Radical Geek said, the umami Trader Joe's isn't spicy to me, but my kid says it has spicy moments, mostly mushroom. Then ever so often they get a bit of heat. Not enough to stop, but duly noted. Perfect. Like I said, she's doing oh. it because of Shauna. Remember, she's yeah. vice versa. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Well, you've got the food right there. Yeah. You're going to serve it on yours. Oh, okay. What? Huh? Well, because your eggs are almost ready. Uh, Melissa, hey, she said, no one ever asked me if something is spicy anymore. A couple times I did not think something had any spice at all. And then one of my friends who does not do spicy was sweating and dying oh gosh sorry melissa um yeah like i'm good with spice stuff too have to make sure i get a little jalapeno yeah there you go all right and then ooh, up there, i'm up, trying up. to get it where i can see it without spilling it too i know but up it's what down a little like halfway there you go but I wanted to show an overview, so that's where the jalapeno and everything and the pet red peppers. Yeah, but the because I had the comment up, so it doesn't uh. show it. Here, do it again. There you go. Let me hide my face. Perfect. And then let's do the egg. Oh, nice. Oh, and now you can show that. Put your butter on, right? Yeah. Please. Yeah. Because I want to flip my egg. Well, I got a little ear. Well, nope, it's stuck. Oh, well. There, there you got it. Perfect sunny side up, y'all. Look at that. That is amazing. And then. So we're done with the butter then now, right? Yeah, now we're done with the butter. And a butter knife, probably. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to put these eggs in here. And. Okay, I'm going to unplug. Are you fixing to pull your egg or is it still cooking? It's still cooking. Look, it's raw. Okay, I'm just making sure. Well, because I wanted to move that uh, skillet back onto the plate so you could serve yours easier. Oh, yeah. That's all. Or, I guess when it, well, yeah, I'd be, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it. Okay. Oh. Well, it'll only take a minute. Well, we're done with the spatula then, too, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess all these spoons. So that's what I said. Remember I gave you that cup? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
See, so handy, right? Just just a regular cup, and I can go wash it. Mm -mm. Um. Oh, Sana said, I grew up with an Indian father, so yeah, my heat level and opinion can't be trusted. It comes with a disclaimer. Right. That's awesome, Sana. Matreya said, yeah. Sana said, oh gosh, y'all got me nervous when you share job updates. Congrats on one year, Shelly. Thank you. Boy, share job updates? Yeah, just like nervous of what's going on. Yeah. I was so excited. Like, honestly, y'all. Um, yeah, do you want to go ahead and just put that right up here? The big skillet? Oh, yeah. thanks. Hold on. I gotta dodge the uh, tripod. Uh -huh. Right. Put my arm in the shot. Yeah, of course. Oh, oh. shoot. Uh -huh. uh oh. Oh, that looks a lot better. And you're gonna take pictures too, right? Well, yeah, of course. Your egg's almost ready, though, babe. Yeah, I know. You wanna unplug it? Um. Yeah, you can unplug it. The and then I'm gonna, once, once you plate yours, I'm gonna put this on the other on the stove and put the uh, the lid on it. To okay. Hold it warm. Yeah. Because this will be awesome for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> right. I'm not gonna cover my. Um, well, then now you know what I want. Rice. With this? I want some uh, fr uh, fried eggs for my breakfast tomorrow. Oh. Or scrambled yeah. eggs with it instead of this the um, um, hard boiled. Yeah. All right. Let me get little juices here. Can you lift the skillet up so I can just get some of the juice? Like so? Yeah. A little more, though. A little more. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Now okay. We're good. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. And. Come on. Where's my. No, it's off the burner and the lid's on it. Okay, yeah. well, now we're done with this burner, right? Yeah. Where did the silverware go? Where's my fork? Oh. oh. Mm. I knew I should have left this light on. There it goes. It just needs some help. All right. Perfect. Ooh, look at this oh you took my fork here's oh. your fork okay well we could switch i haven't I haven't put my mouth all oh, over I don't it mind that. i just i hate this fork <laughs> And all right, you guys, let's see how this one looks. Picture time. Try to do my head there. There we go. And yeah, let me take a couple pictures. So oh, excited. The... Uh, Rockwood said, Oh gosh. Oh, okay. She thought. Melissa said, I love Indian food. So many interesting flavors and unique spices. My father grew his own peppers. We had spicy chili competitions that traumatized my poor sister that cannot handle spice. Aw. Poor thing. I love Indian food, too. I don't think... He's not really a fan of no, it. No, not really. But I do love it. Maybe I'm too uh, Americanized. Wow, and then on this orange plate too. This yeah, looks so uh -huh. good. Oh, well, it looks good on the red one as well. Oh yeah. You want me to take yeah. a picture of yours? Of course, you, you, on yours you can't see the rice. Right. First okay. Time. Um. Let's see here, but yeah, I enjoy Indian food. Mm. I like all the spices and everything. Okay, so. You know Huh. Better. Your spoon. Carrie said, Shelly, that is for security reasons. I know. I know. That's what I figured, Carrie. I was, and I kind of oh, said that. that. 
to the guy. I, sure did. Take a picture of that. I said, oh, I guess I can't. You can't just give me the the uh, code. administrative code. And he's like, yeah, you're no. not an administrator. Right. He's like, no. <laughs> My favorite part, y'all, with a runny yolk like this. Uh-huh. Let's see. Let me do that here. Yeah, that's perfect. And you know what? I'm glad we used a plate instead of a bowl. Uh huh. This plate a lot better. So I'm gonna try the rice by itself. I guess okay. you don't have a way to do that. No, I tried it while we're cooking it. Mmm. Mm. Mm -mm. Definitely get the coconut in there. Mm -hmm. Probably could have been the lime is slight. Like you get a little acidity, but I think if you had, if like we had used. Um, like limit lime zest. That's what I was just say. Uh, that would bring lime. it out even more. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely creamy because of all that coconut fat. And I love the coconut flavor in this. Mm. Matreya that said that's a BS. They should be able to handle that ridiculous. Uh, right. Well, and the FedEx is ridiculous too, y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and try our beef. Way good. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. It's good, but you know what it means. What? Some spice. There's habaneros in this. I haven't found them. Hmm. I'm not going to do the whole plate. I'm just going to do a couple of bites. I want a little sriracha on mine. Uh, Sana said, wow, usually jobs overnight. That seems like some second day delivery nonsense. Yeah, exactly. Because they put on their priority uh -huh. overnight. So basically FedEx dropped the ball. Well, obviously. Because like today's FedEx said between 720 and 1120. And I think it was dropped off at like 1120. So today they got it to me really quick, like they were supposed to. But the laptop, of course, took longer. Remember when I turned in all the equipment from my old job, it was supposed to be priority also. Yeah. And they messed it up. They, they're they supposed to come on, what, a Thursday? And they're not coming until a Friday. I know. Because they said that the the um, the address, the, the house number was not entered in correctly. Whatever. That's not on me. That's on you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Mm -hmm. I think it's got a good level of spice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Harry said, you can't trust any of the delivery people anymore. Even USPS isn't reliable now. Mm -mm. But I feel like USPS is still more reliable mm -hmm. than FedEx or UPS, which charges ridiculously more for their service. Like, you know that they paid out, out the wazoo to priority overnight that. <sighs> From Columbus, by the way, Ohio... Matreya, so I could have just asked Matreya, hey Matreya, can you go get my laptop? <laughs> oh, Zoom tight. Matreya said, wow, how frustrating. I mean, it was because I just, and then my, um, my uh, work sister, she was like, she had to work overtime those uh, two days, Tuesday and Wednesday, because there was so much work piling up. And another little fun thing, thing about my job, my prior job, I told them that I already had all the boxes. I saved them from when they first shipped me all the equipment. Uh huh. I returned it using the same boxes. Was it three days later? No. That was this week, two oh, weeks later. Yeah, two weeks later, they uh, the boxes came in. They're still sitting in there because I have nothing to put in them. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Mm. But I was the issue. I know. Shauna said, would this Thai basil beef be good over a cabbage situation? Oh. Yeah, I think you could do it over cabbage. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Toy TQ Cat said, I bet you're glad I asked about your jobs. Mm -hmm. Sorry you both had. No, that would be an awesome question. Thank you for asking. That, that you even think about us having mm -hmm. yeah. jobs outside of this. Remember, we call it the chat and chew. Well, that's what we're chatting about now. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. But yeah, it, it was a week, but I was just so happy to be back, back working. I know I'm a little workaholic, right? Sharon said, front half of the door is painted. Wow, Sharon, you work fast. 
Sana said, geez, hopefully now you're set for longer than the next year, Shelly. Well, then they sent out an email while I was out saying that um, over the next uh, few months, they're gonna, they're investing in all new computers for like a thousand associates. So a thousand people are going to be getting brand new equipment. And I'm like, are you already on that on that list? Or right, that what I'm yours like, is that going to be? No, mine's not brand new. I'm like, I wonder if that's going to be <laughs> me. That'd be hilarious. But we'll see. But yeah, that, that was, was a funny thing too with mine. Is I had to get uh, a new computer with that company too, mm -hmm. and they told me they didn't have any available. And then the one I got was like dated like four years ago. I don't know. Um, yeah, so funny. Shauna said, uh, oh my God, now they're going to have to do, have to foot for some new glasses. Glasses, purple, yellow, diamond. And then also like, oh, we need all my uh, pay stubs so we can do our taxes. I got called in today because they hadn't sent me anything. They are unable to assist me with that. I have to log into the system, which I can't do because I'm no longer an employee. So I had to go in and they had to send me an email. I have to go in and create a new account and then download everything myself. So they're very good with um, helping you. <laughs> yeah, but that's all right. Um, that's annoying. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just kind of was missed and yeah, I just get bored at home because I, I'm, I'm in the work mindset. So I'm like, I need to work. You so work on relaxing. Yeah. I don't, uh, when I'm on vacation or a day off, I can relax with the best of them. But once I'm up and especially up at seven in the morning, then I'm just like, well, here's a perfect opportunity to do this stuff. Like when I descaled the Nespresso, that that was a lengthy process. I was like, oh, geez, I'm glad I didn't do this on just some off day. I'm so glad we made this. It's so good. Aw. Shauna said, Shelly's so important already. They had to cancel training. Right? It's almost as if she was one doing the training. Uh, uh, well, it's just. What do you like better, though? This way or the way we did it last time? This way. I, I love the peppers in it, the red bell peppers. I like the spice with the jalapenos, the serranos. Yeah. And then the fried egg on top. Now, yeah. last time we did it, I think we did with the shaved beef. Yeah. I like the ground beef. I do too. Uh, I um, but well yeah, there. great flavors, great colors to it. Yes. This is way good, mm. y'all. Uh, Melissa said, My work laptop is so small too. I normally have a big monitor at home, but forget to bring it to the hotel and the house was sealed off for asbestos. Oh, oh no. no. So I could not go back for it. That was rough. That sounds horrible, Melissa. You're like, oh, is it worth buying another monitor? Shauna said, I'm currently wearing a cool dress that I opened. Oh, you'll have to send pictures. Jazz Puppy said, what is the quality like from Timu? I mean, I've heard really good things about Timu. Uh, Shauna said, you. I guess that's you. I don't know why you're getting that. Because uh -uh. uh, I, I turned off all the notifications. That's usually the sound I get when I get a text or a uh, email. Oh, wow. Uh, Shauna said, I got two pairs of really comfy tennis shoes. Nice. And then Shauna said, yes, yeah, summer is spring and summer. Melissa said, I did end up getting my team order. There is a car accessory that I have not quite figured out how it's supposed to connect, but everything else looks good. Oh, that's awesome, Melissa. Awesome. Uh, Melissa said, I got some jewelry, a skirt, sunglasses, hair accessories, all pretty good quality. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. Matreya said, I got chopsticks off TV. I definitely didn't need more, but I love them. Oh, that's cool. Shauna said, I've also gotten burner covers for my gas stove. A bunch of craft metal dies for one of the machines. Wow, that's awesome. Sauna laughed at your comeback. <laughs> Carrie said, Shelly, they usually get into it at the store and drink it, and then they have it behind, and then it becomes shrink for the stores. Why would they just drink coconut aminos or liquid aminos? Shauna said, I didn't scroll TikTok anymore. I scrolled Timu. <laughs> Hashtag shop. 
cheap addiction. That's awesome. Sada said, as a carnivore for almost 100 days, wow. I'm always down for some meat, right? Uh, Tweet Tiki Cat said, I've gotten some really cute clothes from Timu, so that's my favorite stuff. All very good quality, nice mm. shoes, too. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've ordered stuff from every department they have, I think. Wow. Can I get men's clothes? Remember, I need those slacks. I need mm -hmm. more work shirts. Let's well, try there. Yeah. If they're that cheap, let's try it. Right? Yeah, we'll look on there then. What's the lead time on that, though? Like two to three weeks. Oh, shoot. We should have ordered yesterday. <laughs> That's awesome. Shauna said, before I ordered my first Timu order, I watched a bunch of Timu order unboxings on YouTube. Oh, how fun. That's smart. Keto Simple said, getting ready to get Chandra's steaks cooked for her lunches this week. Oh, how nice, Dustin. What are you having for lunch? All right. Shauna said, oh, and about five cute tank tops. Oh, way to go. Brenda said, our Kroger has prime rib roast on sale for $7.99. So we're nice. We're having that and a ham from Aldi for Easter. Oh, that sounds really good. Yeah, I think Brenda. somebody said that uh, Kroger had uh, uh, hams on sale, too. Oh, wow. I love me some ham. Mm. And also, we got all those coupons from Kroger. So remember, I told you oh, more eggs. Right. We need to check and see. Those yeah, they're right there. Oh, those, and there's some that are in the refrigerator, too. Oh, okay. And 22Q Cat said, that's exactly what I did, Shauna. So many Timu hauls to watch on YouTube. It's just made me buy more stuff, right? It's been the addiction. Mm -hmm. Carrie said, Shelly and Heath are so eggy, mm -hmm. right? Carrie, this was an excellent dish. I know, and I miss, I miss this Wednesday's team meeting where the manager was um or the director i don't know what his role is but anyways he always gives a dad joke so i i miss getting the dad joke and apparently it was a good one this week mm -hmm. and then that reminds me my work sister said because my manager was taking some training during the uh, team meeting on wednesday so from our team right there's just like five of us on our our little team so in the big team that has like, I guess everybody in our division, anyways, it was just my work sister and another coworker that was there because one of our other coworkers was off that day as well, planned off. And she was so scared that she was going to have to like give an update or a status on what's going on on our team that she was just sweating it. And she told our, our new manager, she was like, dang it. This is Shelly's job. She's supposed to be here to talk for us. I can't talk for them. That's what Shelly does. <laughs> Which I find hilarious. Because she is like so extroverted. She's like Shauna. Like never met a, stranger. met a stranger. She's very extroverted. Very friendly. You know, like she'll just go up to anyone. And now you're best friends, right? But she's scared to death to talk. On like camera. on camera or in a in a group Amazing. setting like she's just like i can't do it and i'm but me i'm like very shy and reserved and like i will not approach a stranger like that's like even if i just somewhat know you like i'll tell y'all honestly at keto con like if i see somebody and i'm like oh i think that you know so -and -so. i think that's you know keto simple or i think that's lisa over there like i will have a hard time to he, come he up to her the way she does right because i won't like approach somebody and be like hey are you so and so um but if you approach me then yeah i'll talk to you but i'm not gonna like just go up to somebody i barely know now if i know you then of course i'll be like all bets are off hey <laughs> what's going on but if I don't know you, like, I just don't do that. But I have no problems speaking in a group or speaking at work, like in other jobs. I've, like, ran meetings and all of that. None of that bothers me whatsoever. Because you know those people. Well, not even if it's a group of people I don't know. It, uh -huh. like, doesn't bother me to, hey, this is what's going on. But, like, to talk, I guess because it's work related. If it's work related, don't doesn't bother me. It's like, yeah, <laughs> this is work. This is what's going on. This is what needs to be done. Blah blah blah. 
But if it's like, like I just couldn't like walk up to a stranger and be like, hey, how are you doing? Oh, that sounds so awkward. Jazz Puppy said, doing homemade chicken wings. Oh, wow. And a side salad for Easter lunch. Ooh. Lemon pepper, Cajun spice, sugar-free barbecue flavor, homage or, or homemade uh, buffalo flavor. Everyone Ooh. wants a different flavor. Nice. Wow. Like, I'll take one of each, please. Yes. That sounds good. Uh, Dustin said, and I'm in charge of editing all her content for her reseller channel. That's awesome, Dustin. That's awesome. Mary said, yum, yolks are better, aren't yeah. they? Shauna said, here, have this cheese. It's not spicy at all. It wasn't. <laughs> Jasmine B said, anyone doing the zip line in Honduras? Nope, nope. nope. Costa Mod Town Highlights are the clear kayak in Cosmel. I mean, we're not, but that all sounds fun. Zip line stuff scares me, honestly. I would do a zip line in a heartbeat. Um, other than I don't want to have to trek through the forest and go up like 12 flights of stairs and all of that. If I could just, you know, walk a foot and be there. <laughs> if they had a lift. Uh, right? Um, I would totally, totally do a zip line. Heath was like, no, I'll, I'll, I'll catch you on the other side. Right? Mm -hmm. But I'll I would see do you over here line. where it's safe. But the, all of that sounds fun. And a clear kayak? Wow. That sounds kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I've never done that. Um, but that's the one thing. I, I guess here's what it is. The zip line, I wouldn't be scared of. Um, I would be scared of. But a kayak or a canoe, I would. Mm -hmm. Because my thing is, how. because, like, even... Um, what did they call it? the tubes? Like I could never get in a tube without basically just falling right out of the tube. Right. You know, yeah, I think I found the habaneros. Last few bites. But yeah, so that would scare me is try to get in the kayak because I just know when I tried. Like one time I went on a gondola, y'all, and that was scary as ever because I felt like the whole time I was in the gondola, Rocking. don't move, don't breathe because. I, it's gonna flip over. I didn't even like the little cable cars that are, that are hanging ones that are going back and forth in Astral World. Those were scary to me too. I don't oh like heights. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Mm. This is so good, even cold. But mm. Shana said, "Anyone see my breakfast pick? I sure did." Over easy egg or raw beef. I thought this looked familiar. Right? That's true. <laughs> but yours had a lot more cheese. Mm -hmm. Susan said, oh my goodness, that looks delicious. Thank, Thank you. you. Mary said, um, I like to put a little water in the pan when the sunny side are nearly done and put a lid on and steam the tops of the eggs. Yum. That, that is a, a great idea because that really helps get that white completely cooked. Awesome. Shauna said, is that 80-20 beef? Yes. We basically, That's pretty much all we eat. Yeah. Only time I ever buy anything else is if it's on sale. Right. And, and the special sticker on it. And the 80-20 beef has been what's been on sale for like two seventy seven a pound. So yeah. that's what or, we always. Or less. Yeah. Because remember, you sent me out to get that. When I got there, they had that, but then it was also 25% off. Right. Mm. So... Whatever's the cheapest meat is generally what we end up getting. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. What? We're supposed to make uh, the jerky tomorrow, too. I know. But I didn't pull the meat out the thought. Uh, uh, Sharon said, energy level is depleted. Aw. Heading for pillow. Uh, good night, all. Good night, Bye. Sharon. Have a great weekend and a happy Easter. Meet you. Mm -hmm. mm, that is so good. Mm -hmm. Um, Carrie said, "I was a fan of heat until I had the most, had that last flare up, and then had to quit with spice." Oh, that sucks, Carrie. Yeah. 
Mary said, I could do two on the Indian heat scale of one to five, and that's really hot. Ooh, yeah, I really want to try some. But to find, like, good, clean Indian food, right? Because right? don't they? Sugar and stuff, too, don't they? I don't know. Um, because I know that's the thing with Thai food is they, you know, you saw tonight, we put a, a little bit of brown swerve in it. Mm -hmm. Now, they would generally put more swerve. Like, they use a lot more they would put more sweetener in it. Whereas I'm just like, well, I just want a little heat. Now, so of course, if you like it sweeter, you just add a little more um, brown swerve to it to sweeten it up more. But I like more of the heat and just a little bit of the sweetness just to kind of add that a, a little different flavor. Okay, y'all, it's poll time. Oh, okay. And then Sonic <laughs> told you bless you when you sneezed. Thank you. Now. Hold the, on to your hats. That's all I'm going to say, y'all. Well, the first one, there's two different versions here. Two different announcements, basically. One for Cinco de Mayo. But there will not be a Friday night feast. I have a work dinner that night. Oh, yeah. And it'll be the first time I'm having one with this new company. So I feel like I need to go to it. And I'm allowed to bring a guest. I, and we've already been tasked with bringing a dish as well. <laughs> I think they are doing a Mexican-themed dinner. And so they asked us if we could bring some homemade chips since they know what we do. That you're keto. Yeah, we're keto and they know that we're a cooking channel. And can I just say something real quick? Sure. Apparently, I think this party might be kind of off the chains. Yes. Because they got they, an Airbnb. They got an Airbnb and they're like, and there's seven bedrooms. So if you drink too much, you can always crash there. And one of my, uh, one of my coworkers is bringing a uh, tequila sampling. Yeah. It means multiple <laughs> different tequilas. Right. And, um, I don't because they do this. What did they say? Once a month or something? Yeah, and then she said they generally do it on Mondays, but it makes Tuesday more fun. <laughs> so she said so. They're going to start moving it to Fridays, so that uh, everybody can have the weekend to recover. So my question to y'all is: Should we skip that week together all together, or should we just move it to Saturday night? But at the same time, I don't want to be overshadow Jason. Mm -hmm. When what time does he go again? Six, seven, seven our time. Seven, okay. So we we'll just have to go a little later then, because I don't want to go at the same. Because we'd have to almost do it at eight o'clock then, because he only usually goes about an hour on his, right? Yeah, roughly. Yeah, I don't want to go at the same time, and like I said, overshadow him, or should we just cancel or just you know skip that week? <laughs> it's so good, right? I just started putting the silver in the cup. Oh, this cup? Yeah. Wow, that was so right. good. And it, I got a little more of the spice at the end. Right. So, yeah, let us know on that first question, what would you prefer we do? And then also, we will be skipping two weeks from now when yes. we're at KetoCon. Yes. And Dustin said, Chandra is so cute in her video. She's so passionate about clothes and reselling. Oh, that's so sweet. That's awesome. Okay, hate shopping is now home. All right, we're About done. About time. We're done. Good night, everybody. Katie, hey. Hey, howdy, howdy, howdy. She said, late, but was with you all in spirit. Hi, all hoarder fans and Heath and Shelly. Hey, Katie, oh, welcome. Howdy. How are you? How's it going? Shauna said, Timu was uh, the place for a bunch of my cruise purchases. Thanks for the 1920s costume and my cruise formal dress. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. And Shada said, me? Extroverted? Laugh out loud. Laugh <laughs> out loud. Once you, you met all those friends on the cruise that I remember. <laughs> Went to their party. No, that was at KPL, oh, right? KPL, oh, that was? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, where she just, you know, decided our party wasn't enough. That's true. That was right. That was KPL. <laughs> but she definitely was, was friends with everybody on the cruise, too. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, Dustin said, better run up and say hello, right? Uh, Shauna said, I've had to train myself to be like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
that like your whole life maybe <laughs> yeah because i no i i just don't even think i can train myself to be that like oh like i just um because there was somebody i was facebook friends with here in houston and we went to um, oh, the night right. market and i was like oh that's the, that's so and so that's so and so and i was like oh like i should like he told me one time you know if i see him say hi and i'm like and he's like yeah just go talk to him i'm like oh 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 i was like i can't oh i'm, I'm like no i was like oh he's like with his girlfriends um and i was like oh like no i just can't oh no oh like i should like oh and and i just like was like okay i just can't do it i said no oh well um but that's fine like i just oh, i i just i guess that's like social anxiety i would think yeah i just it just the the thought i was just like i just can't and oh well and then i'd be like hey i saw you wow. <laughs> uh dustin said hugs high fives fist bumps let's hold hands and skip to find coffee right I like that idea. Shauna said, Perk, did someone say coffee? Nah. I'm there with bells on and butter. That's right. Butter bells. Shauna said, uh, one day I'll get to meet y'all in person. Nothing planned yet. I'm trying to figure out if I could do the Orlando Summit in August. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, we'll definitely eventually meet because hopefully if he does really well at this job, then next year we could go on the Virgin Cruise, which goes out of Miami. And that's an eight day, isn't it? Yeah. Shauna said, I've never been able to get back in the kayak if I tipped. Right? <laughs> right. That's what I'm afraid of, too. Right. How do people get, get you know, from the water into it? I'm like, no. Because my thing, as soon as I'd start lifting, it would just flip again. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie said, I get the 70-30 meat. It has more fat. That's very good, Carrie. And usually the 70-30 is even cheaper. Uh -huh. Larry said, Indian food has too much rice. Yeah, they do put a lot of rice and um, a lot of really thick sauces. Because, like, I used to enjoy sog paneer. Uh, is it butter chicken? Is it that Indian? Uh, but they, they do have a lot of really thick sauces because there was a couple Indian places that we have gone to that I thought was really good. And remember the best fried chicken we had was an Indian restaurant. Same thing with the pizza too. Oh yeah, there's a place in Houston called Bombay Pizza Company. And it's a really, really thin crust, but it's got a like corn it's, flour on it though. Yeah, isn't it supposed to be like non bread? Yeah, kind of like that? that. Yeah, that was really good, y'all. You know? Yeah, and it's this place, and it's so it's Indian inspired pizzas. The Himalayan. That's that's where we got the best chicken. fried chicken. Like it's voted the best fried chicken in Houston is at this Indian restaurant. And the owner, we watched him. He's sitting there, basically in the dining room, doing the books while y'all are eating. It's like very, very homeschool. I'm like not homeschool, like home style. I mean, right. And then he goes around and talks to everybody. Yeah. He treats you not just as a customer, but as a guest in his house. Like you're sitting in his kitchen, basically. Yeah. Like we're sitting right now. Hey, you know, we'd be at his house with him. It's right. The way it felt. Yeah, and he was really nice at the time. I was um, taking care of my parents, and I brought them there. And I guess he was just like so, and and um in awe of that yeah. like he was like i was like oh you know the odd to take care of us right because he's like oh you respect your elders i was like i don't know i, just <laughs> I don't know about brought that part, here but right <laughs> uh, but yeah but we we because they only do fried chicken certain days of the week so we took them over there because my mother loves fried chicken on the bone and that fried chicken was off the chain it was so good and almost i think it was as good as willie g's Maybe Willie Mays. It Willie Mays. Been it may have been better than Willie Mays in New Orleans. Yeah. But, um, and I thought we did order, of course, we weren't keto at the time, but I thought we did order like a couple other like Indian dishes and we got some kind of Indian dessert. Yeah. Remember, because my mother was like, oh, well, we have to get that. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, they do have a lot of, a lot of rice. Uh, Shauna said, fun. 
And Sauna said, oh, that'll be fun for May 5th. You both deserve a night off. So, oh, thanks. Thank you. But so uh, do we need to do something that Saturday? Or you know what we could do? Huh. We could do the cook-along that day. Well, that'd be quite early in the month. So? Well, we because right. the week before we oh, done the cook-along. Oh, that's right. That's right. I was just thinking. We'd be like, that's fine, though. That's true. Shauna said, that's responsible of them, though. I like that, right? <laughs> They're like, hey, we're going to have some people getting drunk, so uh, now you got a room. But then I'm just like, I don't know. That seems kind of odd to, like, be in a house with strangers, right? And that's, then you... We're not drinking and we're not staying, so it's going to be fine. Well, I know that, but I'm just saying, like, that would be kind of awkward to me, like... Like I've what kind of like right? I'm like when he was telling me that. Oh, and it has seven bedrooms. I'm like, what kind of party are you taking me to? <laughs> yeah, so much with you uh, uh, and then Shauna said, Heath, don't you work on Sunday? No, no, new schedule. Yes, yeah, new schedule Monday through Friday. I can work Saturday and Sundays if I want to. Oh, okay, Remember, I didn't know that. Well, I'm self-employed. Well, that's true. Technically. Reichwood said, for this time, I would just cancel. Then if it happens again, you could reschedule. Okay. okay. Thank you. And she said, yeah, that was KPL. And she goes, hey, don't leave your hotel door open. I might walk in. <laughs> and same See, thing on the cruise, y'all. I've, I've seen movies like that, too. <laughs> Patty said, I say enjoy your night off. Oh, thank you all. And Ashana said, yeah, enjoy your night off. Thank you. Hates shopping said, trying on a dress with a couple pairs of heels. I have the ones that look best for dress. I got our four inches. Oh my wow. gosh. She's already tall. Wow. That's going to be awesome. Renee? Yeah. yeah. Well, to me, she is. You think Renee, we're the same height. You, you think I, I tall? Was, I thought she was taller than you. What's wrong with me then? Maybe I'm crazy. This should be fun for the girl that lives in school scrubs and workout clothes and sneakers right wow yeah that's something again pictures or it didn't happen 20 key cat said you'll be missed but you deserve time off oh mm -hmm. thank yeah, but, you but see this to me you saying that like this is a chore or a job for us we enjoy this we enjoy hanging out with y'all every friday night i know and we like cooking and doing all this i know we literally look forward to it. i'm already dreaming of what we're gonna make next week i know uh but thank Dustin, you for that he said if they could fill in. Oh, I'm open to oh, that. Yeah. yeah, that'd be cool. If yeah, you want to fill it. in for that Friday night. Yes, that'd be awesome. That Are y'all going to cook? Are y'all just going to do a... <laughs> Look, we're making you hold up to cooking. You got to stay with the thing. <laughs> and then Sada told him, and are you ready to fill in for three to four hours? <laughs> right? Because that was funny that time we had, we were, it was that KPL, wasn't it? Whenever Dawn and Mike came over. And they're like, oh, it'll be fine. We'll be back in an hour or two. And everybody started to laugh at him. He goes, but these two? No. If you're looking at three or four hours. Shada said, look for the pineapple. What? Uh, Renee said, I'm thinking more that I'll look like a newborn camel walking. Aww. I doubt it. Didn't, I thought you wore heels you're to graceful. that party last year. You're graceful. Dust said, he don't know about three or four hours. <laughs> Just Jason said that night could be alive with anyone from the horde that wants to join. That's true. That'd be fun. Y'all should do that. Yeah. Uh, Renee said, you heard it here, folks. I'm tall. Well, maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> I mean, I know I do have to look down at you, but I, uh, whatever. Thanks. Thanks, dear. I'm, well, <laughs> And then right when she goes, well, Renee, aren't you taller than Matreya and Shauna? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Renee actually said it. And look, I'm caught up. She said, well, the majority of the population are taller than those two. Aw. Well, that's kind of cold. But I mean, the truth. Uh, Sherry said, good evening, Horde. Late as usual, but here for the after hours fun. Well, oh, you speaking arrived of which, speaking just of which, in time, Sherry. So I introduced my coworkers to the channel because y'all know how I do the um, how I do everything for the MS journey, but what I eat. So I had to start filming while I was at lunch with them. 
And they're like, what's going on with this? So I was like, oh, I'm glad you asked. Here's my card. <laughs> so I started getting a little spiel about everything. And without even me mentioning the after the after hours bit, they told me that I need to do a whole segment either on the channel or at least on TikTok or something and call it Hungry Heath After Hours. And my trainer was the actual one that uh, came up with the silliest idea, I think. Well, two oh, of them, actually. Well, and he said that he should present this to the Hungry Horde so y'all can, can put vote. your input on this. Yes. Y'all can vote on this. Right. <laughs> so tell him the first one. He told me I need to get some tomahawks. Oh, that yeah, that one. Okay. And kind of gracefully place them on myself and do some poses. <laughs> Danny wants me to take some hamburger meat and do the same thing. I thought he wanted you to that rub was, yeah. that on you. Yeah. And then he wants me to get no, a... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You're going to have so much fun talking to him on the single to my own. He's going to get hamburger meat. The man who has to put gloves yeah, on to handle hamburger meat is expected to rub hamburger meat on his neck and body. <laughs> then he wants me to get one of those little kitty pools, fill it up with jello, and sit in it and pose for y'all. <laughs> then, because y'all know my logo with me holding the tomahawk, he thinks I need to get some tomahawk shaped microphone covers, like the windscreens. I was like, that'd be great and all, but mine are lapel mics. He goes, yeah, but you can get some special older ones and y'all can use a microphone. I said, yeah, I could, <laughs> I guess. He's like, dude, we got a whole theme here you need to sell. Well, the Jello, that's the one that's going to sell. <laughs> and I said, all you're going to do is wait. I, if, if I did this, you're going to be like, hey, man, you're going to tell your buddies, hey, I got this guy. Look what I got him to do. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 you're gonna be famous, bro. You're gonna be famous. So I was like, I, I, no. I mean, and I'm you'll actually be famous. I'm regretting telling you people this because I know what y'all are gonna tell me. Y'all want to see me do it. <laughs> Heath naked and a kitty pool full of jello. <laughs> no, no, no. He didn't say I didn't have to get naked. He was oh, wear a speedo. Oh, wear a speedo. Well, that makes it that and makes so it a lot better. The channel, the, the, I had to show him the um. The uh, profile picture you fell in love with. Oh, when we first started talking. I fell in love with. I was like, "Wait, is this this guy?" Oh no, that's a Southern Comfort commercial. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. So that's where we're at. You know, why don't you do this then? Uh huh. Why don't you go to my my uh, Facebook right now, pull the picture, and share it for them so they'll know which one I'm talking about. Well, they might not want to see that kind of mess. It's from TV. It's nothing G. I mean, it's, it's G rated. It's nothing X rated. It's from standard TV. Go to my my I uh, know. profile mm -hmm. and then look at the pictures. I know, I know, I know how to do. I don't know. Y'all want to see this? Comment below. Well, go up, 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 up. Put uh, your photos. Oh, albums. Yeah. Profile pictures. Um, but y'all comment below if you want to see this original cover photo he had at the time. When we started talking. When we started talking. Um, let's see if I can. There we go. So uh, let's see. Then Renee said it. I mean, Shauna said it's true. See, now I'm calling Shauna Renee this week. What is this? Roz uh, said, since I haven't been here for quite a while, I want to let you know how great you both look. Oh, oh thank thanks, you. Roz. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Shauna was referring to the height. Oh. Dustin said, after hours it is, talking work parties with extra bedrooms, booze, and pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> Renee said, it's totally wasn't meant as rude at all. I know. Uh -huh. uh, Shana said, hey, I only grew till I was perfect. It just happened to be sooner than most. Nice. I like the way you put that. Yeah. <laughs> does your you boss... know what she does? Shana's fun size. <laughs> Shana said, does your boss, your friend, want to traumatize the horde? <laughs> yes, he does, actually. Mary said, so he did a meat dressed like Lady Gaga? Oh. 
Now you're giving him another Damn idea, it. Mary. Now I'm gonna well, I'm gonna use my phone or I'll be texting right now and tell him, hey, guess what I just got? <laughs> Keto Simple said that sounds like some OF content only thing. <laughs> right, it does. That's what I told him too. I said, dude, we're monetized and I have sponsors. Or affiliates. I don't want to damage those um, relationships or get demonetized. He goes, well, okay, so just do it on TikTok then. <laughs> no! Oh, Shawnee said, it's already been done. Hello, Gaga, right? Thank you. There, I'm off the hook now. Thanks, Shauna. Renee said, I didn't think Shauna nor Matreya would take it negatively. If it came across that way, I totally apologize. Oh, you're fine. Nobody took like it Like I back. tell everybody, real friends stab you in the front. Mary said, no, Jello has sugar. That's right. You can't. I thought they make it sugar-free. Well, yeah. Listen to me in the loopholes and stuff I don't want to do. <laughs> I know. Why are you doing that? Ragwood said, do they allow porn on TikTok? Well, no, not porn. I guess it wouldn't be porn because he'd be in a speedo. Right. It would. Why y'all's be... first thought is that it would be porn? I know. That's but... why I tell people, you know, if they're like, "Do I know you?" It's like I don't know. Do you watch porn? Jackie said the Jello crosses the line. <laughs> Thank you. I was like. What are y'all talking about? Like, aren't y'all supposed to be working and trying to make deals all day long? Why We're making a deal on making me under uh, <laughs> under the influence, obviously. Sada said, bah, ha, ha, oh, geez, Hungry Heath, really about to get censored. I love meat, but nope. <laughs> Shada said, is he an OnlyFans meat guy? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> right, but he just likes looking at because it's going to be awesome if you're going to be and you're like, oh, so you're the one. <laughs> I know. I'm going to be like, oh, you're the one that wants my husband to be in a vat of jelly, jello. <laughs> do it. Do it. I dare you. <laughs> Walk up and be the first thing you say to him. Oh, so you're the one, huh? You're the one that wants my man to rub meat all over his body. <laughs> sure. Oh, I'm not kink shaming, but. <laughs> I know, right? Like, mm. I mean, I don't want to waste a whole bunch of meat. You know, meat's pricey. <laughs> Carrie said, I triple dog dare you, Heath. No. Oh, no. Guido Simple said, who's going to pay for my therapist? <laughs> <laughs> and Shana said, we'll have to get group rates. <laughs> oh, you know we're going to do it? Oh, uh-oh. We'll do it during the meetup for the pre-cruise dinner. Rykwood said, I'm laughing so hard trying to imagine Heath sitting in a jello pool with hamburger spread on. <laughs> Just like combining it. <laughs> you had the meat spread in jello. <laughs> I know a seamstress. I can have her make me one. <laughs> She said, nope, I know. Oh, could you imagine the cleanup? <laughs> the cleanup, y'all. And you're so OCD, you'd have to do it. Oh, what? I'd have to do what? The cleanup. Well, whoa, I'm just whoa. saying off of your body. Whoa, whoa. Like, can you imagine? You'd get jello in places you didn't think you could get jello. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I'm already getting nightmares now, y'all. <laughs> Dustin said, do we really have a choice? Yes, you do. You vote no. Because you love me. And then now Heath can tell his, his uh, uh, mentor. mentor. He can be like, look, uh, yeah, I pulled my hungry horde. They and said they said no. no. Bueno. They said no to the 10,000th degree. Yes. <laughs> they were like, your, your mentor is not allowed in the hungry horde. <laughs> no, I'm not banning him. <laughs> Carrie said, I fell out of I fell out of my chair with that reaction from Shelly. Don't worry, I bounced. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> Glad you didn't land on anything hard. Uh Renee said, I think I've already been traumatized to death by his <laughs> message and temper. <laughs> You're still bringing that up, Renee. <laughs> that's that's trauma. <laughs> that's called PTSD. <laughs> Well, you know, that's the problem with Facebook and the group chat. You don't always know. <laughs> you just see Shelly. Uh-huh. <sighs> but at least now he knows. Uh, Shana said, tonight's going to require extra melatonin to sleep. 
Just know I'm thinking of you. <laughs> oh, Sherry said, I'm dying. Shelly, laughing. I know, I know. I roll. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, look. Dustin's coming up with alternatives for you now. Okay. He said, skip the jello and just use tallow. Ooh. That sounds gross, actually. Why would that be more gross than I jello? I feel like I'd stick to that better. That you would stick to jello better? No, I, the tallow. I don't know why. It seems like it'd be more slimy for some reason. The jello. I don't know why. Do you remember what jello is? Yeah. This was, what's that old. Uh, <laughs> the. Uh, uh, He's like, oh, tallow. Well, like that crosses the line. Like, jello is okay. I don't mind jiggly, sugary jello sweet. all up in my business. But tallow? Like, oh. Gotta have standards. <laughs> that's that's the line right there. Oh, I can't have you know tallow that would moisturize my body in places I've never moisturized before. But you know <laughs> that oh crossed the line. I'm glad, so glad we're done eating. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin said we're all dirty minded. If I could charge admission into my thoughts, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. um. I'm not dirty minded at all. So I don't know what you're talking about. I, I scrub everything clean. Uh, hate shopping said, or keto chow pudding. That would be one of your affiliates. Right? Oh, oh. Oh, and I'll send them that so they can release it for themselves, too. <laughs> hey, Chris, hey, guess what I've done chow. for you? Look, if they get the keto chow, what did the keto chow be you like? No, know, oh. you know all the different videos they do with all the. Uh, the um with all the um oh what's it called like with the snow white and, uh, the, oh yeah the, with the, with the, the, the different fairy tales fairy tales i can do one of those for them <laughs> with, with the kitty pool how would yeah. that be i'm in a fountain of keto gel yes yes guess what we're gonna do oh because they're gonna be a keto con right yeah i'm gonna do a face-to-face -face with him about it Oh yeah, I'm sure. By the way, I'm sure he's gonna be like, uh, okay, so please step away from our booth. We are no longer affiliated with you people. <laughs> no, like I can just see Chris and Mir. Look, so he has an idea. We're gonna make up like twenty gallons of keto chow, and he's gonna stand in a kiddie pool. But you notice with the speedo watch, 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 watch. and just pour the no, keto watch, chow. Watch, watch. Here to be with gonna tune in. <laughs> I'm just saying, like you, I can just see you, and you'll be like keto chow, not just for drinking anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Book it. Oh, you okay? She's crying, y'all. Jerry's here. Hey, hey Jerry, brother. you popped in at just the right moment. Oh my God, I'm, I'm scared to say what he's gonna come up with. <laughs> he said, "Good evening, y'all." Ear hustling had a date night with oh, Patty. Nice. Oh. Good job, brother. How nice. I got some ideas for that keto chow for you. <laughs> Dustin said, I bet Chris would think it's hilarious. Oh, well. He'll laugh, but he'll still think no. <laughs> yeah, he'll laugh and he'll be like, um. Probably not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Your legs. Just tell Miriam my legs will be in the shot. Wow. <sighs> Oh, wow. Shauna said, man, um, if there was anything to make me a vegetarian, it's he fit a kitty pool of jello. I love you, me. too. I love you, too. Oh, wow, Jackie. Jackie, Jackie. She said, meat wrapped meat stick. <laughs> <gasps> no, you didn't. <laughs> oh. Oh, Mary said, y'all are getting a lot. The water is spiked. I, you know, what's in my topo tonight? <laughs> wow. Franklin said, laugh out loud, Shada. It defies thinking about, right? Shada said, he just sent that guy a pic of you and your hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, true. you wanted to see my meat. Here you go, brother. <laughs> or you wanted to see some meat on me. Here I put a hot tub. <laughs> I do oh. have a uh a cooking apron. It uh -huh. Says once you taste my meat, you're gonna want to swallow. 
Dustin said, Jackie, thanks for the nightmare fuel. Well, you said you already have a very dirty mind. So, Dustin, really, was that nightmare fuel? If we paid admission to your mind, is that what we would see? Uh, TQ Cat said, the horde is on a roll tonight. Love it. I am saying, what, what's going on? Shauna said, the dogs would probably clean up, right? Oh. <laughs> You know what? I'm, you want to do now? And he hates dog licks. He hates when the dogs lick him. You know what I want to do now, though? Uh, I'm trying to get permission to film at the Cinco, uh, Cinco de Mayo party. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think cameras are usually allowed at those kind of parties, he. <laughs> Shada said, oh, my God. When he and Jello turned him into spam. <laughs> spam? <laughs> Oh, Ragwood said Delilah and Samson would love cleaning up that mess. <laughs> I'm saying they would, wouldn't they? <laughs> and then that would just gross Heath out even more. That would, I wonder what would be more fun to watch. Is Heath being in the pool uh, with the jello and the meat or the dogs trying to clean it off of him <laughs> and him going, oh, oh, oh. Oh. Jackie said he would have to have a body glove. He can't yes. touch meat bare head. I know. Yes. Like, how would that work? And then if he had a body glove. Yes. Then if he had a body glove, then that would kind of defeat the purpose, wouldn't right. it? <laughs> and Renee said J-E-L-L-N-O-O. -O. <laughs> oh, wow. So Dustin said they make body condoms. I didn't know that. Shauna said, I do not want to know if he tries it out. <laughs> You'll be the first to know. Reichwood said, no jello in Austin. Oh, okay. This is perfectly imperfect keto. I, you've been kind of quiet the last couple minutes. She said, maybe a loophole of getting out of it is having to do this at your friend's house. I wouldn't be able to have someone do that at my house because every time I saw my tub, it would come to my. <laughs> oh, wow. Right? Oh, uh, see, we already got rid of the hot tub. Really? The hot tub? <laughs> Tway TQ Cat said, I think we're seeing the real Heath. Doesn't mind the jello. Mmm, kinky. <laughs> wow. I'm finding things out too, y'all. I, I didn't know about this. Like, Jello's okay. Tallow crosses the line. Shauna said, my mind is pure, or it used to be. Mine too, Shauna. Mine too. We I, ruined you. I, I, obviously. Uh, Renee said, now smash that thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Perfect timing. Uh, and she said fairy tales, maybe reminiscent of garbage pill kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Speaking of, were, were, did you were you want telling a story about the Smurfs? No, we heard that. Where, 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 that was on YouTube. Tell no, us, it was TikTok. Tell us stories of the oh, Smurfs. Oh, I can't go into it. Look up Smurfs on TikTok. <laughs> that sounds so uh yeah, right. Oh, they're like, oh, what am I going to find? Like, Shelly, I don't want that kind of stuff. Shauna said, you'll never get that reusable code. <laughs> right? <laughs> Not at that point. That's what I'm saying. That's why I told them I can't do that. I have affiliates. Uh, Jackie said, talk about tainted tallow. <laughs> right. All that tallow to waste. I know. Jason said, they could sell a blow-up pool with a bucket of keto gel. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I can just picture Heath in the blow-up pool pouring the keto chow. I just love keto chow. <laughs> oh, Renee said, pour the keto chow, like, over him, like the flash dance scene. Or I was thinking, like, on, um... Yes, that that's what I was picturing. Or, um, the one of those ones that was on Nickelodeon where they poured the slime on Oh, it. yeah. It'd be, It'd be like, keto chow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Melissa said, I left to take a work call and I'm not sure what I'm coming back to. We must be at the after hour portion. Not sure my jello or towel are going places that have never been no strike. 
So where no man has gone before. <laughs> you're gonna recap with her. No, we just didn't. You, you're gonna have to rewind. I can't go through that again. It's too traumatic. <laughs> so basically, Heath's I, work mentor does not like me. <laughs> <laughs> was suggesting that to boost our channel and to make us famous, which I didn't know we wanted to be famous. That's what I told him. And he said that he should get in a pool of jello in a speedo and then rub meat all over himself. <laughs> did you they ever answer you about the picture? Oh yeah. Did y'all want to see his Facebook pic, uh profile picture that I first saw? That you fell in love with? Um oh yeah, we gotta melt a brick, y'all. I thought melt the were over brick. There. Oh, this is the cookies and cream. Is that what you want? Yeah, you don't uh, want that one? What no, I don't care. This is you. Yeah. Well, I can um, grab the first one. So, yes, that's where we're at. And then Dustin, Keto Simple, chimed in that instead of using Jello, tallow would be a better alternative. So, to pull, to fill the kitty pool with. That's going to um, be a pity pool. <laughs> with tallow instead. And he said that cross the line, he would gladly do jello. I did not say gladly. I just said no, no, no. <laughs> but not tallow. <laughs> Patty said it'd be great if Chris or Miriam hopped in about now. I know right? it would. <laughs> Shada said I am not be making hungry eat meat suit stickers. <laughs> oh, meat scent. Is that what she said? Meat suit. Oh. Do me a favor, though. Hack me off a piece of that. I want to bite right now. Well, just take a bite on camera. No. Shauna said, um, what's in Shelly's Topo Chico tonight? I promise y'all, it's just water. The last time we did that, it was Tito's. Uh, that was at a restaurant. But no, this is just water. I promise. Um, If I was to have a drink, it would be a good old whiskey. You want some? No. Uh, hate shopping said that's a whole nother hot dog or maybe a little smoky. Renee. Oh, rude. Nothing little. Uh, Keto Simple said, yeah, no cameras, just the eyes wide shut mask. <laughs> right? <laughs> just Jason said, this appears to have taken a left turn straight into the gutter. <laughs> Laugh out loud. So much fun, right? Yeah, like that for fast, didn't it? Watching that uh, will make you fast. Mrs. Perfectly and Perfect Keto said, I'm keeping quiet so meat doesn't get ruined for me. <laughs> That's awesome. Y'all think I'm disgusting. Oh, I don't think you're disgusting. I, I just think you're so perfect. You don't need to add meat to you. <laughs> Renee said, Shelly, there's been way too many storms lately. You're asking for a lightning strike with saying your mind is pure. Uh, Renee. She knows you better than anybody else does. You don't think my mind is pure? Don't be spreading those rumors. 22Q Cat said, are there any new folks in here tonight? I bet they're wondering what this group is all about. Like, I thought this was about keto and cooking. <laughs> Well, actually, yeah. I was telling somebody at work that we have a cooking channel that we ha and we happen to be keto. Is that what? fair? Uh, yeah. Uh, Sana said she used to call him Jamaican coconut. <laughs> Sana said, do we? Uh, Jason said, I did a cookies and cream brick for pucks this week, too. Oh, nice. Sherry said, Chris and Mary would be dying. Baby pool, just in time for summer. Oh, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, Dustin said, heat meat suit stickers could be hilarious and PG rated. I mean, that is true. That is true. Maybe that is a new design we could do to send out to the reporters. <laughs> Uh, 22 Q Cat said, I know, right? Don't be shy. Speak up. The rest of us talk enough for everyone, though. I know. I'm just saying, Sana, of all the times for you to keep your mouth quiet, uh, just said, he, we're just pretending so Shelly doesn't get jealous. <laughs> I'll have to read that when he gets back. <laughs> 
Oh, Renee said, so everyone coming to the meet up, if he tells you the meat is wrong, <laughs> eat at your own risk. <laughs> Pork and poultry rub. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, I guess you need wow. The story about <laughs> right. You should tell them that. They'll be like, oh, okay. You've already done enough. Yeah. Uh, Dustin said, Heath, we're just pretending so Shelly doesn't get jealous. <laughs> mm. oh, whoa. This is really thick. Yeah, that's that's how that one turns out. Ooh, that's so thick. You said it. Wow, there's actually little chunks. Did you all see that? Um, speaking of Keto Brick, he is doing a contest that's really cool. He's giving away what is it called? A Yoder? Yeah. The, the one of the top level ones too yeah a twenty five hundred dollar value for a yoder so for every ten dollars you spend on keto brick you get one entry into the giveaway so if you're interested in keto brick now's the time to buy it and maybe get a shot at um winning, winning a, that uh, yeah sana said oh it's not you heath i don't want to see anyone in a tub of meat right Right. I agree, Sana. Um, okay, I gotta concentrate while I while I pour this. Uh Shauna said, I'll have to change uh charge for that one. <gasps> She's gonna charge for that sticker. Okay. Dustin said, gives new meaning to pulled pork. Because did you <laughs> hear what Renee said? No. -uh. She said, so everyone coming to the meetup, uh -huh. if he tells you the meat is rubbed, eat at your own risk. <laughs> Pork and poultry oh. rub? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh. I guess you uh, risk. <laughs> Pork and poultry rub. Yeah, right. But it's so good. You never complain, Renee. Yeah, this one really is. Oh, oh, there's a couple that didn't get pushed nope. down. Can you push them down? Oh, oh, where, where, where? Seriously. So the one below the one I just filled. Oh, this one? And this one? Yeah. And this one? This one? Oh, no, Ooh. Because what? You've been taking these to work too, right? Yeah. Little keto pucks. Mm -hmm. I don't remember who it was. If somebody put them in the freezer. Yeah, I've seen that before. It, it just makes them solidify faster, but you've never had the problem with that. But I do want to do another brick, too. You do? Yeah. Why? Because I want more of them. Because I found we have another little thing. We have another little thing, y'all. Did you I know we have it. two little things now? Oh, we're almost mm. almost done it. But the problem, though, with that, this little festive guy, uh huh, little cupcakes. I don't know if that that a brick might be too much for that. You know what I mean? Like what? Oh, I know what the perfect one to do for that one. Oh. Yeah, hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm excited. Mm. Wow, they got 19 bucks. Um, look, remember the nootropic one didn't fill that whole tray up, yeah. So, if they can use that for this one, okay, sure. Um, um da, 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 da. Patty laughed at us. Melissa said, Thanks, guys. I'm now imagining him dancing in the pool of meat with. With pour some sugar on me playing, only it's pour some brisket on me. <laughs> I didn't do it. Oh, I already put them up like a dummy. Did you hear her? Yes. Pour some brisket on me. Pour some. Like I could see he. There he It'd is. Be like Speedo. And he's got the meat. And he's like, pour some brisket on me. Not going to get uh, Weird Al to do it for me, right? <laughs> right? Or um, if he did the keto chow, he could be like, Keto chow, not just a shake anymore. Uh, as I'm shaking, 
keto chow on me, right? Uh, thank you, Melissa. Now you put that image all in my head. I just cannot wait to go to sleep tonight. Renee said, especially when he's porky pigging it. Oh, yeah, exactly. Can you imagine, Renee? See, I'll just do that video. I'll do a pork and video promoting the pork and poultry rub. I'll be porky pigging it. <laughs> Y'all done messed up now. <laughs> Well, so you're choking over it. <laughs> oh, uh, Jason said, I wish I could play direct from Keto Brick. That would be a great contest to enter. I know. What is it? What? Jason, because oh, he's, he's in North Canada. Indiana. That sucks. Shauna said, The original fidget toy. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shauna. Shauna. <sighs> I thought you were pure minded like me. Jason said, Jason said he put his in the freezer. Oh, then that's who you saw. Okay. Uh, Sana said, and he did Shelly have co-workers following the channel. A whole other kind of awesome gossip <laughs> will be going down. <laughs> right, right. Or who knows what they might contribute in the chat, right? Alan's here. Hey, Alan. Said hello, everyone. How are you doing, Alan? Oh, you came in just in the right time, Alan. <laughs> he said, how is everyone on this great day? Oh, no, we're doing fabulous tonight. <laughs> and, and Dustin said, what happens on the Friday stream stays on the Friday stream. But yet, it's available whenever. People can go back and just watch and watch. <laughs> oh, wow. Watch. Somebody will comment, hey, y'all, start watching at this time stamp. Check that one. I just did a minute and a half like last Oh, one. gosh. No, I always do it in 30 seconds. Okay, the last six times we've done it, I told you I've been doing a minute and a half. Yeah, but you can burn it. Okay. But I haven't yet, have I? Well. Exactly. Might be a little burned. This is, looks a little burned. I guess. Oh, well, you're the one eating them. Whew. Yeah, this new Tropic one is real thick. That almost looks like uh, icing. It's so it thick. Remember, didn't somebody say that we were going to do that? We said we were going to yeah. do that, but you know how we go. Like, I don't know if I can even get it to pour right. A little too thick. Huh? Look, that's really oh, that's thick. Awesome. It's so thick, y'all. Woo. I don't know. He, he's awfully thick there. Well, remember that when we, last time we did it, it was it was thick. Yeah, that's right. Because remember, we also thought it, it was possible that it didn't work correctly, but then the next day it was perfect. Yeah, that's true. I just figured that also, since that one doesn't fill up that other tray completely, this smaller one would be better. And if necessary, we have those other... I'm going to get a few of them just in case. Woo. All right. I did spill. Mmm. Tastes like straight candy. I know. My goodness. That's awesome. That's why I keep eating them. No, like this one tastes sweeter. Really? Yeah. The last time? No, then I'm saying the, the other flavor we just did, the cookies and cream. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. It almost looks like you're painting. Uh, I know. It feels like it. Um, oh, goodness. I'm glad we... Uh, Jason told Alan, you came in the middle of something interesting. <laughs> That's to say the least. Shauna said, I need some brain bleach, right? Renee said, now I have the vision of Ally McBeal dancing baby in my head. Oh, right? <laughs> Mary said, speed do, speed don't on anyone ever. I agree. Okay, so now you have to show them the picture. I don't think they want to see the picture. That's why you have. That's why I said show them. Aw, Dustin said Canada, more like Canada. Aw, 
I have Canadian history. Not enough to get citizenship, though. I guess it... I don't know. I don't know if you could do that. But anyways... You have better health care. <laughs> uh, um, play with Sean, that and I'll do this. I'll finish it. Sean said, um, the ice cube tray sh uh, shaked my head. Alan said he's doing good. What are you making? Right now this, it's a keto brick. Yeah, so we just melt down the keto brick. And we're putting it in a mold. We already did one. The uh, cookies and cream one. But he decided he needs two for the week. And we already made tonight a wonderful dish. Yeah, Tell them what we made. Do you remember? Thai basil beef with a coconut cream kali rice. Coconut lime. lime my bad. That's all right. I know it was light on the lime. We should have got a lime and put the zest in it. Yeah, that probably would have worked out better. But I was trying to use what we have. Right. And then we're getting everything together. And she's like, oh, you know what? We already had a thing of the coconut milk and the... Uh, in the, the coconut pantry. cream. Yeah, in the pantry. Yeah, I know. I so didn't I bought one for no reason. Um, yes. That's what I'm saying. You want me to take over? No, I take mean over. I'm almost done. All right. I just want to lick the spoon. That's what she said. Um let's see. But yes. Uh, and then Renee said, that's really thick. It is, y'all. This is like a really thick one. And then I was thinking the next ones, do these little guys, the Han Solos. Oh. Uh, they're easier to eat than the big one. Oh, hey. Well, here, can you move that one out of my way, dear? Oh, oops. What? Oh. What, I put it in it? Yeah. Oh, here. Oh, okay. I'm not going to waste that. Yeah, use your oh, tongue. Good stuff. Oh, my gosh. He. <laughs> Um, okay, and then Renee said, oh my god, that last time we did it, it was thick. Y'all are on fire. <laughs> and Rosada said she talked just what, she, what was, she was thinking, too. Oh my goodness. Tell the story about your mom and stepdad. Girl. Put it in, remember? <laughs> Went on the cruise. I thought I've told that before. Well, tell totally again, it'll be funny. It's um, right now. 22 Cat said, it's so thick, y'all. That's what she said. What do you think you got, Lynn? Ross says, have a great weekend. I need to leave and take care of my kitchen duties. Have a great nice. one. Thanks for stopping by again. Sorry for scaring you. Keto Simple said, Canada not selling keto brick directly. Oh. And just Jason said, oh, I technically can buy direct from keto brick. I want to pay double for taxes and shipping. Oh. oh that's rough. Alan asked, what are you cooking up for Easter, everyone? Oh, and Jason said he's making loaded roasted cauliflower salad. Oh, what is that? Uh, to take to our Easter gal uh, gathering. Oh, I hope you do a short on that. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we've even got anything planned. We don't. We're doing. We're making ground beef something. <laughs> right. That's what we have a lot have of. Like, what six packages in there? Those three packs. Yeah. Of all of them between five and six pounds. And then, because every time they run on sale, I go and get some. And it's like a two limit, so he buys two packages each and time. And then sometimes we'll even go back a little while later and go back in and get two more. I know. Um, but uh, I was going to say something. Uh -huh. I don't remember now. Um, but yeah, that's our. Now, tomorrow we're going to go. To your sticker, yeah. I was also thinking we need to go to Home Depot as well. Oh, because I just remember, remember we were gonna put the glass up on this little box here. Yeah, we never did it though. I still have it in my truck, so we can return that and get some money back. Oh, yeah. Would you get money or is it gonna be, be a, store credit? Store credit, but we're always mm -hmm. gonna need something. Yeah, use it for even if it's just light bulbs or something, you know. Yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll still come in handy. That's or true. Even more uh, garbage bags or something. I don't know. Oh, that's true. But yeah, we made Thai basil beef that was phenomenal, and we still have like a lot left over, oh, I right? Pack that up too, put it away. Yeah. I'll do that. I, when I go put these in the fridge, I'll grab that and come back over here. But yeah, that turned out fabulous. So you gonna need the other ones, or you think you get all in this one? Mm, no, I think I'll need another one. Okay. Um. 
I really enjoyed dinner, y'all. Yes, yes, it was amazing. I enjoyed that a lot more than his uh, co-worker's suggestions. Mm-hmm. But uh, well, it's not as traumatizing. I'm saying, I was like, what? Why is your mentor telling you all this stuff? Because it's funny. Obviously. And, and he used to pick on me about it. Okay. That look good? Yeah. All right. And then we should have enough to do a couple here. So we have our Han Solos. This is the Nootropic uh, Keto Brick, if anybody's wondering it's which flavor. Tasty. It is very tasty. It's very sweet to me. Compared to most Keto Bricks, I find actually kind of salty. It's not real sweet. Um, centric, uh, but the Nootropic, I feel like, is a very the sweetest one they have. Well, and uh, but then yeah, you so you worked only a half a day today, right? Yeah, and everything was going well, yeah, very well, actually. Well, good. Other than, did they make any more suggestions today? Was he telling the, the main boss about his suggestions? About this? About uh, after hours? Yeah. No, not at all. So he's being professional around his boss. Right. Well, in the office, it's different. We're riding in a truck together. It's different. There's office decorum, and then there's an office decorum. Right? Um, uh, oh, Alan said it's been a long time since I've had lamb. Oh, lamb Us is good. He said, How good. do you cook the lamb? We, we've done it in the air fryer, I've smoked it. Well, we've oh, it. oh, Sana's making a rack of lamb, oh, so he's awesome. asking how she okay. cooks the rack of lamb. We haven't had that in a while either. Uh oh, yeah. Do you roast it, Sana? Um, Oh, Jason said, we'll have bacon and cheese and maybe some green onions in the roasted cauliflower and some of my homemade mayo as dressing. Ooh. Oh, wow. That sounds different. I that sounds that. good. Yeah, do a recipe video on that. Yeah, on the roasted cauliflower salad. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see that. Um, and then Renee said, yum. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, Renee said, what? No East Pan for Shelly? I know. We can go get one. Uh, like I said, um, I think, if I remember correctly, I saw somebody say that Kroger has them on sale. Ooh. We wanted to go to Kroger anyways. We got all those coupons. Right. Sana said she's going to try cutting up the rack of lamb into lamb chops yeah. and make them on the Blackstone. Oh. That, that sounds, sounds amazing. That too. Ooh. I love lamb chops, y'all. Yes. yes, yes, yes. A lamb, um, leg of lamb, not my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. um, and then I would say, um, now a lamb steak. Remember the one Brazilian, they served the lamb steak, and that was actually really good. We well, like ground, ground of lamb as well. Yeah, that's good Like to make like burgers, that kind of thing. I'm just trying to smooth this yeah. out in here. Oh, hey. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. I think I'll smooth this around and make it so. Mm hmm. Ooh. I'm going to put it up in a second. Oh, look at you. It dropped off the spoon. Oh, no. On the floor. Don't lick it off the floor, please. Really? Here, open your hand. I got a gift. I'm not going to lick it off the... What? Really? I can't believe you would think that I would do that. It was funnier that way, though. Oh, really? That was hilarious. Uh, Renee said... Oh. Renee said, I think that Thai beef recipe would be tasty with that shaved beef I got with y'all at Kroger. Well, that's... Our original original recipe did use the shaved beef. Yeah. But just we have all this hamburger meat we need to eat. Right. I was like, um, basically what happened this week is I made tacos on Tuesday 
And I was like, this will be perfect. I'll use a third of the package to make our tacos on Tuesday. And then the rest I'll use for the Friday night feast. And that's why we did it with the ground beef. But yeah, our original recipe, which we do have a recipe on here for Thai beef, Thai basil beef, it did use the shaved. I made some adjustments to this recipe a little different because I added in, I think at the time we were basically carnivore. So this now I made it though with the bell peppers, the serranos, the jalapenos, the habaneros, and added those in and the sauce is just a little bit different too. But yeah, I think the shaved beef would work well. Alan said, I like ham, but we're doing a tri-tip roast in the too. sous vide. Ooh, I love tri-tip yes. too. That sounds good. Um, Renee said, I don't love ham, but the ham uh, heat that Shelly made at Thanksgiving was really good and no junk in that one. Oh. Where do we get that one? Uh-huh. That's a good question. I don't remember either. I mean, I, do you remember? I think we told you, Renee, but do you mm. remember? Was it, was it H-E-B? We had to buy a special, like, so a special brand maybe but yeah i love 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 ham shauna said my brother is making a big ham for the family and he offered to make me and mom mash collie oh nice nice that's awesome that's so great they're so supportive um carrie said they need to melt the new flavor that keto chow had which is keto chum uh no, no thank you no 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 no, no. And because then I, <laughs> what it really did for me, I didn't want the surfer dude in there. <laughs> yeah, the surfer dude, that's where we were like, oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> and then Alan said, Thai beef sounds great. Oh my gosh, it's it so amazing. good. Um, Dustin said, I saw nice rack, really is after dark. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all or something else. Wow. Is that really what you said? It just went right over my head because I'm just so innocent. <laughs> Alan said, we go, um, we go some green beans and my wife will make lumpia. What's lumpia? Isn't that a, um, I thought it was a Filipino dish, right? Yeah. And that like, um, like they're egg rolls or whatever I thought. Yeah. Or like let me know. Or something I thought. Um, Oh, yeah. Renee said she thought it was from HB. So I think it was like their natural yeah. ham or something. You know how they have the line of natural stuff? Um, it wasn't Smithfield. <laughs> right? What? <coughs> Sean, um, oh, gosh, she's going to kill me. Renee hates shopping, said, uh, forget the surfer dude. They lost her at tilapia. Yes. <laughs> Renee hates tilapia. Uh -huh. oh, no. oh, I said it wrong. Okay. Shauna said, say lumpia. Lumpia is how you say it. Lumpia. Okay. Thank you, Shauna. It's Filipino, isn't it? Is it Filipino? Correct me. Uh, or let me know. Somebody. Um. Renee said, the naturals is the only pork I buy. I mean, I'll buy some of the other pork, too. I mean, I'm not, especially if it's really cheap. But um, maybe ours just gets the better better selection, as they yeah. say. Um, mm. All right, I'm going to put these in the fridge. Yeah, you do. And then uh, package up the leftovers. That's right. If you don't drop them first. Shh, don't jinx me. Um, oh, and Shada said yes. Yes, what? That lumpia Filipino? is Filipino? Yeah. Well, look at you, Shauna, knowing all the stuff. Oh, man. Um, oh, shoot. What did you do? I almost dropped it. Uh, did anybody have anything else planned for... Um, Sunday for Easter. I don't. Even, we're not even going to leave the house. We're not doing anything. Actually, well, you know what? Didn't your sister was that last weekend or is it this Saturday that she invited us? Remember to an Easter party and Pull birthday your phone. party? She texted you too. Oh, 
it matters that much to you, right? I know. I was like, well, here, here's what happened. His sister invited us and I said, think it is Sunday. No, I thought they were doing it on Saturday. Right, right. Yeah, Saturday. But we couldn't go because we we're doing that other thing. <laughs> huh? But she texted. She's like, hey, I want to invite you all. We're going to do um, an, uh, a cookout and Easter and a kid's birthday. And right there, she said kid's birthday. I was like, no, we're busy. I was like, oh, drive an hour. And then that, I was like, I just can't. So I think that's what she's doing tomorrow. So we're not doing that. We're going to go get the sticker. And um, and then we will, uh, I get, we're going to try that crafty crab and get the steamed oysters. And let y'all know how good it is or if it's not. And then um, and then continue on uh, from there. I guess we'll just come home. I think we're going to record a new recipe video tomorrow. We said we're going to, but I don't know. Yeah, we said we have we're to going do something to. with it because, well, you know what? We can always do a Sunday. Yeah. Oop. Is that too big? Probably. You like it, baby. My goodness. Um, anyhow, so Alan said it's pretty good. Maybe just spring rolls is easy. Oh, okay. So like a spring roll. So here's our our Thai basil beef that we made, Alan. So we've got the red bell pepper in here. We've of course got jalapeno, serrano, habaneros. And then, of course, a lot of basil. And then a sauce that I made. Yeah, that should work. And then um, we did make a coconut lime cauliflower rice. But While you're doing that, I'm going to wash this cup so you can make coffee in the morning. Oh, thank you. Oh, and then my, my uh, calm is in the fridge, too. Okay. I'm going to need to calm down after all these antics tonight. These right, y'all? Mostly my husband. Brotzi. Gosh, look, this made a lot. You said you're going to have this for breakfast? Not all of it. I'll have some of it. Look at me trying to pack it in here. Maybe that Ooh, other dish that wasn't too, tonight. too small or too big. What now? Nothing, dear. You said that other container wasn't too big? <laughs> a bit. Well, here, here, do, do this thing. Here, try, do me a favor. Seriously. Transfer that to this big one. Just leave a little bit in there for my breakfast in the morning. I'll just heat it up in that. Oh, thing. well, I've almost got it. Look at that. I've almost got it. I can get a lot packed into a little thing. Oh, my goodness. Even if it is too big. <laughs> no, this one's just right. That last little bit. So is Dustin going to do after dark as well? Right? Dustin, if you're taking over Cinco de Mayo, are you going to do after dark? Um, Hates shopping. Said, I grew up in a Filipino populated area and dad was stationed there for a bit before me. So mom used to make lumpia, pancit, and other dishes. Oh, wow. Oh, thanks, Alan. He said it looks delicious. It was. And Dustin said leftovers are clutch. Yes. What does that mean? Good. Oh, that means good. You okay. right here. I know, I know. Here, I need you to hold it up for me. But it's too big to hold up. Oh, my God. Hold up. Sometimes this is harder to hold it when that's on there. That's what she I said. I have to get the condom off of it. That's what she said. Okay, up higher and there, right there. And I use two hands for this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be awesome scrambled eggs. Mm. Oh yeah, we had a whole shallot, shallot, in in this too. Half a one or the no, no the, the whole, whole thing. You want to lick that? Yeah. 
Are you gonna lick it? Ah. <laughs> the spoon, y'all. The spoon. Um, Alan said, I have convert a lot of those dishes to keto. I spent four years in Asia for work. Oh, Ooh, how interesting, that's awesome. Alan. That's awesome. You have videos on all that, don't you? Uh, Dustin said, I'm batch making bacon and steaks. Oh, yum. That's perfect. He said, I batch make steaks, bacon, sometimes pork belly for leftovers. Ooh, that's good. Here we go. Woo. Um, Dustin says, Chandra and I are talking about doing an after dark thing, though we couldn't go this late. Chandra works early, and that next morning is a keto meetup, so I'll be, uh, I'll bring stuff together. Okay, that'll be fun. <clears throat> Sana said, well, protection is important, Heath, especially in the kitchen. Ah! I, you know, you have to be careful. Um, Renee said, look at Shelly telling Heath which direction to hold it. I mean. I aim to please. What's this? Oh, dessert? your lilies. And Des said, I can't type tonight, but you typed that very well. Um, and mine, does anybody else use Microsoft Teams? Sometimes Not when anymore. we're using it. Oh, that's the peppermint. I know. <laughs> Sometimes when I use it, I type so fast that it mirrors what I type. It like like I, you have what to hold it up it? to a mirror. Oh, oh. because it Was types it, it exactly backwards. The whole sentence is completely backwards. I'm like, how does that happen? <laughs> it's so funny. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I do not like this flavor of calm, y'all. I will probably... Um, oh, my lilies. Ooh, why is it sticky there? Remember when we bought it, the, the glue and stuff were on it. Oh, this, oh, because there was like a coupon? Yeah. I don't like it when it's sticky. Not what you said last night. Um... Oh, Renee's asking Alan if he has ketified lumpia. If so, I need that recipe in my life, right? Sana said, oh gosh, I cringed when you said Microsoft Teams. Oh, the memories. Well, that's what we use at work. And it's Microsoft Teams. So, uh, what's annoying about that is all the pop-ups. And there's a couple... Um, team task that I was like, I gotta mute this. Like, I can't have this happen at all day long. And, uh, but, no, that's what we use. Um, and Dust said, same, team, Zoom, all that stuff. Oh, no. Well, how do you talk to other people at work? Um, Renee said, I'm not touching the sticky comment. That's not what you said last night. <laughs> you, don't have to, you don't have to touch it. And then Sana said, let's not forget WebEx, all right? Um, so you want me to tell you the story about my mom on a cruise? <laughs> I'm going to finish this, and I'll tell you. Oh, here we go. Alan on the lupia. He said, the meat and filling are easy. But the wrap's the hard part. We're still using wrap with five total cards, so need to go easy on them. I've tried a few other wrap, like cabbage leaves. Oh. oh that's smart. Yeah. Mm. Isn't well, it their version of an egg roll? Yeah. Isn't that the best way to describe it? Or not but isn't all? it fried? Yeah. Um, egg rolls are fried, too, though. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's the only thing. I wonder if you could use, like, the fat head dough and get it thin enough. Have you tried doing the fat head dough on it? I don't know. So now we're going to do that. <laughs> Carrie said, I have Teams on my computer. I had to use it from the last college I was in. and I run an ad blocker and don't see pop-ups. Oh, I never get pop-ups on it or I ads. Either. I didn't either. 
Um, the only pop up is like, you know, if, if people I have it set to where if they tag me or if they uh, certain chats because I, you know, want to know if the manager pops in there and says anything. Mine is um, when I was using it, I had mine set on do not disturb. Uh, and then if I got and you know, if they needed to get hold of me, there's another thing that came up and says urgent. That's it. Oh, yeah. See, we don't really do all that. And if I went do not disturb, my work sister would be like, what is going on, Shelly? <laughs> we mostly just talk and gifts. So we and when, lately we've just been using Shit's Creek gifts for every response. <laughs> so when we say hello, bye, lunch, or response to anything, I can't, I can't. Ex well, let me tell you what one person. Um, so customers, you know, sometimes will message us. And this one customer typed out this message, and it was this long message about something. She goes, and, and I, I, you know, I have it already set for the um mail byproduct bank if you can guess what that starts with an s and so type this message and she actually called it that she called it the s bank and then another message she said she said oh my god i just reread what i said i'm sorry i didn't mean s bank it's not an s bank <laughs> and everybody in the team chat today because like had copied it and shared it because she was like y'all look what i just read and everybody was dying they were uh -huh. and then one person said well we work for s bank now <laughs> oh people um destin said i talked to them on youtube ha ha renee said alan what do you use for the wrap that's my challenge too Reichwood said, why not do a deconstructed version of Lumpia? Uh, Renee said, it's like a cigar-shaped egg roll. All right. It's paper-thin wrapper. That's so good. Just not the same. Right, because it's that that real thin that like helps it get though, really like kind of, that helps it get really, really crispy and thin um so it gives that crunch and everything with it so oh alan said it's uh one we get at the filipino store it's the best store option okay. uh renee said if you think of the brand alan please share i stop at a, a shop at an asian market too i also saw one lady make them with cutting the wrap in half so that it would cut the carbs too but still hmm interesting um oh he said it's oh tasty brand okay well that's interesting um okay so let me tell you about what you know we didn't get at the store when we went to pick it up last night no you're supposed to get that uh hot sauce that um because Jason, they didn't have it oh, that store didn't have it yeah okay. i don't know which store has it but so jason stores that's why yeah just jason keto about a week ago he got Tabasco's extra hot uh, hot sauce. And I wanted to try it. And he wanted to try it, but then when we, the stores closest to us didn't have it. But what are the ones we have there? Because I see three boxes. I know I see one is Chipotle, one's Cayenne. What's the other one? It's Tabasco was the brand? Yeah, right there. The boxes. Okay. Yeah, that Chipotle, one. Cayenne. What's that? An original. Oh, it's just original? Yeah. We got an original in the box? Yeah, that's the way it was. Well, because they were running a special. Oh, like buy three or oh, something? No, 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 no. It was a special with the pork rinds. Oh. If you bought if you bought the hot sauce, you got the pork rinds for free. I thought it was Tabasco. No, Wasn't it was Frank's. It? Oh, it was Frank's. That's it. Well, maybe that's what I did wrong. Maybe I was put Tabasco. That's fine. Maybe they do have it. Oh, well, it's the them. Frank's extra hot yeah. sauce. With no oh. E, just extra. Yeah, it's just the X. I think that's what I did wrong. I kept putting Tabasco. Why did I think that? I don't know. Because I was thinking, oh, it's not it's not one I could traditionally consider hot. Uh-huh. Yeah, because to us, yeah, cause the Frank, to us, the regular Frank's isn't hot either. No. To me, the regular, oh, yeah. 
extra hot cayenne pepper. Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, extra yeah. hot. Yeah, they so did it have good. it. That's fine. Uh, well, okay. Well, they pull up Kroger and see if it's there because we said we're going to go to Kroger anyways. Okay. We we'll just get it there. We don't have to get it at HEB. All right. Then again, I don't know. We can, all, we can go by. If we did, did you see our uh, hot sauce? We, Thank we you. We make our own. We don't need to get it. I just want to try it. Uh, Shauna says she likes Frank's basic sauce. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's okay. But Frank's it's in Tabasco to me is like starter sauces, yes. or it's for if you don't really want spice, but you want, want a flavor. Want a, yeah, they have it there too. Ooh, it's more expensive at Kroger. Yeah, four twenty nine, oh. and I think it was three ninety nine at at H E B. Okay, that's fine. Um. But yeah, three thirty nine. Uh, it's a dollar cheaper at H E B. Whenever um we go to the big sticker though, well, how close is uh, Kroger or H E B to it? I don't know. Oh well, we can look that up tomorrow though. Yeah. Look, um, it's about time. Renee said Frank's red hot extra hot cayenne pepper, one gallon, one gallon. Best for wings, blah, blah, blah. Oh, she sent the link. It's enough heat for me. Oh yeah, it's perfect for Shauna. Um, Amazon for thirteen fifty, but I don't know if I want to buy a gallon of it. I might not like it that much. Twenty two Q Cat said, "Just pick it up the store when you're buying all that Jello for heat." <laughs> <laughs> oh. What are you looking for? I see. What is the the um, Scoville? No, the Texas um, cost for inspections. Oh. Oh yeah. That debate. Yeah. Cost of inspect oh it does say seven dollars. One year safe oh safety. Is that <sighs> inspected in Texas? If you're in a Mission County and your vehicle is newer than two years, a safety inspection. Oh, so that's seven dollars. Oh. That's what the big Texas? I mean the big sticker? That's the name of the no. shop we go to, y'all. It's called the big sticker. Yeah, it says seven dollars. Why did I think it was twenty five? Because maybe that's what we were paying car? when we went to the dealership. You must have a current ID. Okay. Huh. Um. Okay. We won't get too far behind. Uh, Shauna said, mm, seven fifty. Not too late for an evening coffee, right? No, that's early. You definitely have evening coffee at seven fifty. Alan said, I like hot sauce, so need to check it out. Yeah, so just Jason Keto put that re his review out there on it. So it looks like it would be good. Um, well, it, Alan, if you like hot sauces, you need to try ours. Yeah, Alan, we make a hot sauce. Uh, Renee said, oh, we use some beef gelatin to make your own jello with the new Franks. I think that might be a little painful. Right. Um, oh goodness. Okay. Y'all are just too, too, too much. Amount you pay at the station and all inspection must include how are some vehicles have an emission, are required to have an emission test. Yeah, it's basically uh, where they put the car on like on a breathalyzer. Oh, and the emission test is twenty five fifty. Oh, if you live in Dallas, Fort Worth or Houston. Uh the safety emissions is twenty five fifty. Okay. So that's why I got twenty five dollars. Okay. Yeah, if you're outside of that, uh -huh. so yeah, if you're somewhere else, it's seven dollars. Or um, uh, it says emissions only. Oh uh, well, that's the same price. Eighteen fifty plus seven for the safety is twenty five fifty. So that's why counties require an emission test. Yep, right there, Harris and Montgomery. So we, we couldn't even just drive, you know, a little bit further north because uh -huh. they're required to. Well, at least we got that answered. Uh, Renee said, because lots of folks jack the price and it's a regulated service, but they get away with it. Yeah, the... No, not, and I thought it was like $25, so that sounds right. Oh, Alan says he wants to try the Moist Clown Tears. Renee said, oh, no wonder, I've never had to pay that. Yeah, because you're not in, uh, 
well, it's too popular. Yeah, like, so it's just, what is this, about 10 different counties. So, mm-hmm. like, Brazoria, mm-hmm. Collin, Dallas, Denton, Ellis, El Paso, Fort Bend, Galveston, Harris, Johnson, Coffin, Montgomery, Parker, Rockwall, Torrent, Travis, and Williamson. See, but there's like four or five of them you just named off are all right here in our area. Too. Yeah, that's why I was saying, like, because I was like, well, if we just drive, you know, north, but... Yeah, but see, Fort that's Bend, Montgomery. Fort Bend is like where Katie and everything is over there. Yeah. And then Galveston, you know, that's uh, yeah. So that's anywhere right there. south, that uh, Galveston is uh, Santa Fe. Yeah. Harris is, is uh, yeah. And well, I was thinking going north, but yeah. right north of us is Montgomery. Montgomery. Yeah, that's, so that's the Woodlands. Saying, everywhere we within driving, if everything within an hour of us is we're just still going to get it. Yeah. So it's that's basically why Houston area, pretty much everywhere in Houston. It, well, or everywhere between Houston and Dallas. Yeah. Of course. Lucky us. Um, uh, okay. Uh, Shauna said, Hungry Heath, how many MCT stickers do you need? How many you got? Probably just, um, I think a case has 24 bottles. Yeah. How? Pretty uh, please. Uh, Renee said, laugh out loud. See, they got you with the Parker County, uh-huh. right? Um, oh, good. the crazy? There's uh-huh. also a Heath, Texas, and a Parker County. <laughs> but is there a Heath, Texas in Parker County? I don't think so. That'd be even funnier. That would be hilarious. Google it real quick. What county is Heath, uh, Heath Parker? I mean, is Heath, Texas? <laughs> Shauna said, I have none. Gonna make some. Oh, thank you, Shauna. County is Heath, Texas. That'd be hilarious if it was Parker County. No, it said Rockwall and Kaufman. Okay. Again, even those you would have to you'd have to pay the emissions t- fee. Where is that? It's outside of Dallas. Oh, it is. It's just right. Oh, it's between. Oh, see, rock yeah. walls by Dallas, too. So, yeah. see, it's like everywhere between Dallas and Houston. Right. Oh, that sucks. Remember, that's how I found out I even existed. Cause remember, uh, Brian went on a, a job out there. He oh. drove by. That's where I got the picture. He sent me the picture of it. That's how you knew you existed? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know you existed right. before then? I didn't know the city existed. Oh, okay. But you did you know you existed, yes, though? Yes, Shelly. Because that's not what you said, dear. Yes, it is. I said it existed. He said what? You ignored me again. I'm not ignoring you. Everybody heard you say. Um, <laughs> Zada said, every time I hear Parker, I think of Spider-Man. Right? That's what we said. If we did have a son, that was going to be his name, was Peter. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Could if. you imagine? Good thing that didn't happen. Right? Ugh. <sighs> a Peter Parker. <laughs> that bother that didn't bother me. That having the kid part bothers me. It bothers you? Yeah. Well, yeah, because you couldn't be sitting around here in your short shorts and getting in a, a pool full of jello. <laughs> Renee said 24 hungry horde after darkers with the Parkers still here. Smash the thumbs up. But look, we just lost four, five. They're like, okay, we're done. You people, wow. You brought up the Jello again. I'm out of (laughs) here. They were probably like, they bring up Jello one more time. (laughs) Hmm. Alan said, no, I have a couple of other vacation plans this year that's taking my vacation time. Oh, that's all right. Boy, what vacation do you have? I would love to go on a nice vacation. Well, I know. We're <laughs> going on the cruise. Too. We're going to KetoCon. I have two weeks. Now, Renee, are, you're driving up that Thursday, right? Um. So, yeah, we won't be live in two weeks. because, And then if Dustin wants to take over two weeks from now as well, that's fine, Is he too. Is still on or already bolt? Uh, He might just be listening. And, um, oh, and Jackie's still here. Hey. Awesome. But, yeah, if you want to take over, that's fine with us. Or if Jackie wants to go live, I think you're always driving your Uber. Oh, that did not seem fun. No. Was it funny? No. But, uh. No, I'm sorry, y'all. 
but yeah, so two weeks from now, we, mm. we'll be at KetoCon. Oh, yes, I've been waiting for this. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see everybody. I'm excited to get all kinds of goodies. Like I'm, I'm actually. Jello. Call back. I'm excited to try all the different goodies. And I was thinking. I'll bet you cause, are. Because Keto Cracked will be there. I'm, I'm yes. like, oh, I wonder if we'll have, hopefully you'll have a paycheck by then. Right. Wouldn't that be nice if we could buy some Keto Cracked while we're there? Right. I would love that. Um, Renee said, Jello, 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 Jello. Carrie said he hit the like button a billion, gazillion, trillion times plus one. Thanks, Thank Carrie. You, Jackie's here. And Renee said, if the boss lets me off the days I requested, oh, uh, why did they wait so long, Renee? Um, Do I need to go out there and talk to them? <laughs> oh, really? You're going to drive out there so you can sell some insurance? Yeah. I'll bring up some Jello. <laughs> Huh? How did um, Renee call me Shelly? Um, Heath has been admitted. Oh no, what happened? Is he sick? Did he get hurt in the psych ward? <laughs> he brought up the jello and started just pouring it all over himself. You almost spit that out, didn't you? No. <laughs> oh. Jackie said, don't question when cases of Jello show up at the door. <laughs> oh, prime in the pump. Oh, goodness. Oh. Or too much. Carrie said, meat mixed with Jello. Oh, that, that would definitely be happening. <laughs> in more ways than one. <laughs> hey, at least I got my own stir stick. <laughs> yes, Renee's supposed to be here for the pre cruise. Uh, Renee said, because I'm one of the main neurotherapists, and it's hard to tell if anyone will be allowed to cover my load if I'm more neuro at that time. Oh, it depends on the caseload. Uh, well, that's no fun. Quit being so special and necessary. Tell them you're necessary here. Mm-hmm. You're allowed to have time off. When have you taken a vacation since you started there? Um, and she said, same answer to Shauna above. Shauna said, ooh, it's like a bad 70s dish, right? I'm so glad. <laughs> that, that sucks because I was born in the 70s, so thanks for that. <gasps> You're a bad 70s dish. Remember Matreo doing the whole 70s dishes? <laughs> I know. I was about to say that. I was so glad that she did a cheese ball instead of like some kind of aspic dish because that ball looks so good and yummy like i just <laughs> you did it on purpose didn't you maybe <laughs> but it really did if y'all didn't see it go to radical geeks facebook page and her cheese ball really looked good i bet they enjoyed that and devoured the whole thing like i sure would have i would have been like well thanks for bringing this for me i don't know what else anyone else is gonna eat but this is mine i can see that uh renee said just had my second annual eval got all high ratings yes. yay that's awesome renee of course way to go that's why they won't let her take off because she holds the place together Shauna said, okay, you better, I'm coming early to hoping to see you, right? Reichwood said, great night after darkers, Thank but you. I'm sitting here yawning. I understand, me too. So time for bed. See y'all yeah. Sunday? Yeah, I can't wait to see you, Reichwood. Yes. Two weeks. Carrie said, my birthday's on Thursday the 13th, and you're going to be 51? Wow. Well, happy early birthday. Yes, sir. Uh, Alan said, I got to go as well. Good night. Good, Good night, night, Alan. Thanks for jumping yes. in. Good night. Renee said, my boss is understanding and does her best. Like last year, she moved mountains to cover my KetoCon time off. She knows I'm a good worker. Will likely be off. Just don't uh, find out till right before. Ugh. <sighs> That's the only... Well, because her job is a special job. Well, that's it's... the crappy thing about healthcare. Right. Because that's what I hated, too, when I worked in healthcare is it was always up in the air. 
if you would get time off. Yeah. And I'm just kind of of the motion or the notion now. Maybe I am of the motion. <laughs> but oh. um, <laughs> I'm of the notion now that it's like, look, I'm taking the time off. I'm just giving you a heads up. Like, it's up to you By to figure way. it out. Right. Um, I, I just feel like over time, it's just important to have time for yourself and not just weekends. Like, you need actual time off. Renee said, I take days here and there. I never really request big lumps off. See, I love Oh, you nice... love your big lumps. Yeah, I do like the big lumps. I do like that. Um, what was it you said that you went to somebody and the person takes off a month every year? Well, yeah, it was more like uh, we went to go speak with the client. Yeah. And they were, yeah, they take a month off uh, every year. A whole month. Well, they also own a clinic. So. Well, I know, but I'm saying that that's yeah. like goals right there. Right? Like, okay, the month of uh, March, let's not do February because I don't want a short month. Huh. Like the month of March, I'm off the whole 31 days. Like, but she also fun. goes like uh, she goes to conventions and stuff. There. Right. She's, she's not in clinic. Right. For right. Us to go talk to her. Right. Yeah. Well, but still, yeah. those conventions can be fun too. Right. Um, that's still oh, a write off, even Carrie. Though she's off, you know? Happy early birthday. Yeah. Renee said, I don't mind it. If I put my foot down or if it was a true must, she will. She does give me more holidays off than others. Right. Well, I am sorry, but the pre cruise meetup is a must. We have a lot of people anxious to see you, and I'm trying to get the bed and everything situated too. Yeah. yeah. We got to make sure the gel is going to fit in it. <laughs> and then Sharon's going to be here too, right? Am I allowed to say that? Not anymore. Um, not anymore, right? Renee said, the fact that I love what I do and enjoy going to work makes it easy. I don't mind it at all. I mean, I love my job too, but then I guess it's good because I have a manager. Well, I had, because now I'm going to have a new manager, but she's always big on mental health days and making sure you take your time off. And then plus this company... They only let you, uh, you don't get to roll over. So it's kind of a use it or lose it. And they only cash out 40 hours. So if you don't wow. use your PTO and you have more than 40 hours, then you just lose it. Wow. So they, well, because they generally, they want people to take their time off. Mm -hmm. I mean, because like, look, they said the top people that they picked, the hundred people um, company wide, they're sitting on a one week vacation in the Bahamas, all expenses, um all resort i was gonna say was it a cruise or a resort no it's a resort that's cool though so my manager's manager she was one of them that got it mm -hmm. so she gets paid for the week you know from the company plus they send her and the other 99 people are going to be there at the same time and the big ceos and stuff and they do this every year to celebrate the people they feel like are that's awesome. really contributing to the company Awesome. Where they have a week and, and the CEO that, you know, made the announcement of the people, he was like, and look, this isn't a work week. We want you to chill out. Like I will be at the pool with a drink in my hand. I do not want to talk about work. Nice. Yeah. So they're very much, they're like, this is all okay. of y'all worked hard all this, this year. And bonus. this is your, your reward for the hard work That's you awesome. put in. I was like, wow. And do you get to bring a spouse? I don't think so. Oh. I know, right? That's different. Melissa said, if I took a month off, I'm not sure I could make myself go back I to understand. work. <laughs> that I would understand. Be, that would be Heath. Uh, he'd be like, "What? I don't know if I can work anymore. Uh, and Shauna said, yes. Uh, Sana said, if he eats some jello on the cruise, you all are going to have an epic inside joke. Right? Uh, Renee said, I just don't want to promise if something comes up, but I'm really picking on who else treats my neuro patients. It's right? like molding something so delicate that some others could crumble in just a day. Yeah, I remember we've heard I some know. of the stories from our coworkers too. I know. Yeah. It's and nice. and she has trust issues also. <laughs> yeah, right there. That's her next thing. She goes, So part it's me. But um, yeah, I get I get it when you're like, Oh, I just don't know if I can. Trust somebody else to handle. Right. 
Three two Q Cat said, "When I worked nights, it was seven on, seven off. So I got three weeks off in a row. Mm. If I took a week of vacation, it wow. was really hard to go back after being I off bet. that long. I bet. Right? That would be hard. Like, ooh, three. But can you imagine the type of vacation you could take if you had three weeks in a row? Oh, no. <laughs> right? Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. You're like, oh yeah. Um." Yeah, that'd be fun. Oh. Mm. But then I'll have to figure something out for the second part of this year. Mm -hmm. Try to use up some time. Oh, oh goodness. And I'm yachted now. You know what? Mm -hmm. It's the um, calm. The calm. The calm has hit me, y'all. Renee said, yeah, if one certain therapist treated one of mine, it would be a very bad thing. There would really be a workplace violence. Oh, Ooh. no. Jackie said, wow, Carrier had us work at 80-hour weeks for almost two years, and all we got was a pack of lifesavers? What? And, like, two lunches of pizza. Oh, that's awful. That's, that's no, that's that's, no good. that's horrible. That's like when I worked at the hospital the first time and got a pack of gum. A and 25 was, cent pack of and gum. And it probably wasn't even a name brand either or some kind of. It was the four pack of gum that you get. The four little sticks of gum. That's what it was. Yeah, like, no, but it, wasn't, oh, it was like Trident or nothing like that. Or I don't even remember. Or All I remember is I got a, a FN piece of, of like when they were like, oh, and here's our great performers this week. And then here's you. And I saw a pack of gum and I was like, what the, like. Oh, Man, really that was me. pretty good that I was young because I was still in my 20s at the time. So I was still very, very um, reserved and and tried to uh, mask not, it more. And not make a scene. And not make a scene. Nowadays, if a boss handed me that, I'd be like, what the F is this? <laughs> I'd throw it down like, uh, thanks. I'm I'm taking a mental health day. Like I would not react very nicely. Like then I was just like, oh okay, <laughs> you know. But now I would just I would be offended. I would be so roared mad if that happened. Wouldn't you? Like yeah. oh here you go. Here's, fighting words. here's you a pack of lifesavers. I'd be like oh I'm them's about to lifesaver something. <laughs> like I said, them's fighting words. <laughs> Shauna said, I got an, oh, wow, when my supervisor discovered I've been here 15 years, right? Like, oh, wow. Okay. Can I get something else? Renee said, I've got a new one starting today. Incomplete spinal cord injury, and oh, I'm no. super excited about it. Oh, Ooh, that doesn't I bet sound. they are, too. Yeah, I bet they're like, ooh, this is fun. <laughs> oh, goodness, y'all. Well, it has been a day. Yes. I am so excited. Um, I don't know. I'm just super excited. So we've got two weeks from now. We've got KetoCon. I'm just thrilled to be able to do that. What? I already know the uh, keyword for this week's MS Journey. Oh, no. Oh, no, y'all. And then in 54 days, we got the cruise. Well, Shauna will be here. That's what Shauna, I mean, basically the cruise starts. So Shauna will be here. That's going to be so much fun. And oh, I just feel like we got a lot going on in the next week. Well, I was about to say bye. Oh, okay. Well, everybody appreciates <laughs> you doing that. Oh, wow. What a. Um, what now? She said her her client definitely actually is excited. Sana said, "I used to earn the doctors I managed per for per month close to 10k extra due to metrics okay. I kept above standard, but nope, never saw any of it." Wow. Yeah, that sucks. That does. Ma Melissa said, "My job expects OT constantly, and we can unexpectedly have to stay late for an emergency, but we don't get any perch. Just a card with the footprints poem and an email saying how much our work means. Well, that's just total BS." Like a slap in the face. Yeah. Oh well, you're gonna have to. Well, look. I gave you a card with footprints. Don't you feel special now? You know what that thing is? Isn't that worth the extra 10 hours that you spent away from your family and friends? 
No, that's that's in reference to me walking all over you. That's why the footprints oh. are on there. That's wow. what that is. Look, they already guessed what the word's going to be. Uh-huh. Uh, Shauna said, see if you can find it if I keep thinking about it when you were seeing him. Oh, okay. Ooh. Renee said she averaged 50 to 60 hours a week. Tweet TQ Cat. We didn't even get to see or hear Samson or Delilah tonight. That's right. They, they're on the couch. They're asleep. Because you know what will happen? It's like 2 in the morning. Then they decide to get up. Or yes. Delilah last night. We had just laid down to go to sleep. Got comfortable. Yeah, I got comfortable. Oh, that just sounds bad. But anyways. <laughs> Delilah just gets up in our master bedroom is of course the master bath. She just gets up and goes into the master bath. But what happens is that door doesn't shut correctly. So if you enter, she doesn't have a way to get back out. So she goes in there. I don't know why she did. And I'm like, and, and of course we both can hear and we're like, oh, did she just go in the bathroom? I'm like, yes. And he's like, oh, are you going to get up or do I have to get up? Oh. And I was like, I'll get up in a few minutes. I'll probably have to pee again. And then sure enough, that little dog, <laughs> Delilah, start barking. Like, hey, let me out of here. I'm like, why are you barking at us? You're the one that put yourself in there. You know what that does. Uh, Mary said, we used to get pizza for dinner late Thursday at the newspaper. Oh, yeah. Right? Like, oh, since you're staying late, here's some pizza. Well, that's what your job's been doing on Mondays, remember? Yeah, what's bad, the worst part about it, too, is they ordered Papa John. So even if I did want to cheat, I'm still scared to. Because even pre-keto Papa John's messing with me. Something about their uh, sauce went right through me. So I'm, I'm double scared now. Right. Yeah. Because what if it's still in the sauce? Right. To ATQ Cat said the pups are hiding after hearing all the jello talk about mom and dad. Yeah. Delilah, especially, she'll be like, never mind. I'm going to the bathroom now. Uh, wow. And uh, Renee said, see, y'all don't need me to be the bad one. Y'all are bad enough. What? How are we bad? Who do you think we learned it from? I know. I learned it from my cousin. Before I met Renee, I was like almost a saint, y'all. Almost. I like that. Sana said, meat and jello makes everything mellow. Uh -huh. <laughs> yellow mellow. Renee said, the hours aren't required, but sometimes I tend to go over my session time with patients because we got on a roll. Well, and especially if they're making progress, right? That makes that. sense. I mean, yeah. I would definitely work overtime, yeah. um, but I, we have to have a business need. And so, like, when I was out for two days, of course, there was a business need, and my co worker she got overtime, but I didn't. So, but at least she got like I think like three, four hours this week, which is nice. I don't get overtime anymore. I know, but they're saying in the new team that typically by May, it's so busy that, you know, before, of course, now we should be plenty staffed, but before, like last year, they were working 15 hour days with no lunch. Yeah. Crazy. No. Well, oh, oh, and what they, they've been doing, mm -hmm. the, the two I've been riding with, they make sure they take an hour lunch. Oh, why? I don't know. That to me seems like kind of wasteful. It's like, productive. Yeah, like, okay, I can take. Well, partly I think because you can't go visit a client because they're at lunch. Oh, if they're at lunch during that time, yeah, that, that makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. That makes sense. I didn't think about that. So that Renee had said, it makes the sausage say hello. <laughs> Zana said, oh, gosh, he better not be having no mellow yellow in that jello. <laughs> oh, don't. Somebody's asking for a tip. Don't uh, eat yellow snow. <laughs> Tweety Q Cat said, 17 of us freaks still here. I know. Y'all. Y'all are the dirty-minded hungry horde. Now you're hungry for something. Wow. 
All right. And with well, that, that I'm you off. oh, Renee said it was a continuation of sauna song. Oh, well, I didn't see that. <laughs> well, thank y'all. It's been fun as always. And of course, the meal tonight was so freaking delicious. Gonna have so many leftovers. Enjoy that. Look at me. He's showing me all the light, y'all. Under, um, under the counter. What? Under the counter. They can't see it from their view. Look. I oh, I know that. I thought you were like, you don't know what's going on under the counter. It's like what? <laughs> oh, okay. We're gonna call it a night. Um be much more. What did she say? Y'all keep the mojo coming my way with wearing the stilts this weekend and dresses. Oh, yeah. Have fun at that. Um, and Toy TQ Cat said, happy Easter weekend. Yeah, wow. happy Easter weekend, y'all. <laughs> and Sada said, happy Easter and Passover to all that celebrate it. Right. <laughs> and then what if we have all this naughtiness? Whoops. All right. It's the season. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. And yes, have a wonderful, happy Easter. If you celebrate it, Passover, and just enjoy the weekend. And then we'll see you all next weekend or next Friday. I'm excited well, about we'll next Friday. See a lot of them Monday. Oh, yeah. We'll see you talk. Sunday for Coffee Talk. That's right. All right. And I can't wait to make sure y'all share whatever meals you're doing in the facebook group i love seeing y'all's photos so please share those thank y'all bye good night